welcome back all of you nana here and then uh, today's session is uh, going to concentrate on the intro of transfers on accounting prospects i'm now uh, with oracle and then uh, they i mean i never used to conduct uh, this accounting training as far as uh, the supply chain management is concerned but uh, they say that uh, uh, nowadays uh, only supply chain team is not doing the accounting and so he uh, she asked me to what happens explore it and then uh, teach to our people of the some few days back only explored it and then uh, Uh, there may be some mistakes here and there. Right? Let us now. I, I have now done something, some work on it, and then on the accounting and the intro transfers. So I am going to show it to you on this in this training. Let us see what how it pro progresses basically. <clears throat> so let me go there now. Share my screen. So I am now working on a vision instance actually. Uh, so uh, we are now going to begin the activity on this. Any doubts at any point of time? You just immediately open up your mic and then speak to me so that what happens? I will be able to answer you then and there. So let us now first of all create a new org actually. I am not going to create a new org. I click on it. I will not go there. So click on new org. So click on the name on the title. Fine. Go to the setup and maintenance, and then I go to the generic area of FSM now. So from the FSM, I click on the task list, and then I go there. Go to the search now. Fine. And then I go to the task called manage locations. So I am not going to create a new org and then demonstrate manage locations. So I have already tested it on B zero one. So I am not going to make it as a B zero two. I'm not going to just you know B zero two now. So I'm working on ESV. Other let me create it. So it's a B zero two B zero two lock underscore one more location one. Take a copy. Other than put the code. It's not going to work. So I'll now put the zip code now. One zero zero two zero. And then I'm using the United States because this system works very well with this US actually. Go that point. I will now say it's a B zero two point address one. So that's it. Fine. Go that point. I will now click on submit. Then uh, by which the location gets created, and then we are going to go and update our inventory or so click on this one. No doubt. And then I will now right click on the duplicate. <coughs> right click on the duplicate. So I will now have multiple uh, tab regions opened so that what happens our throughput will be fast actually. Go that. So it will now done. No doubt. Go that point. So now go and then create our inventory or so click on the name on the right hand side. Go to the setup and maintenance. So go there, and then click on the search. Go to the manage material. So go there. Go to the manage material organization, and then here I am going to make it inventory. So here I will now go and then create it. Find it on first. So let us now create an R. It's a B zero two R, you know. So which I am going to create. Which will be working on the visions instance now. Right? The vision uh, we have this many thing now. So if you go to the PC, then I go to Oracle SCM training, <clears throat> and then I go there. Go to this place now. So if you go, then have a look at the global interface structure actually. Right? Go to the vision interface structure. Right? The zero three. If you go and have a look at it. So vision has got a ready made one. I go there. We have a ledger called US Primary Ledger. And then uh, we have a US chart of accounts as a COE, and then uh, we have a legal entity called US one legal entity, and then we have a business unit office, and then we have a master org also. So below which I am not going to create my child org actually. So the master org is going to be zero zero. So the remaining entities are going to be same, and then I am going to make a branch below the master org with my own child org. So I will not go there. Come on, it's a B zero two underscore child underscore one mark. Come on, B zero two. Take a bit and then click here. What happens? I want to get capital B and then zero two one. So here, uh, the business unit is what US one business unit. US one business unit is the one. US one business unit is the one. I'm opening it. And then the location is my location actually. So I'm opening the US one business unit. And then uh, this is already having the same profit center business unit. The PCB is same. Okay. So we'll change it. Find B zero two and make it as. So the location will be having a one-to-one -one association with the inventory or fine with the drop-down. I will not choose my legal entity for this. Not fine. My primary ledger is US primary ledger. So US primary ledger actually. So go there. I will not choose the US one legal entity. The profit center will be coming automatically. We are not fine. Let us click on next. Not fine. So that's it. Thank you for next. It goes there. Go inside and do it. So B zero two child one B capital B zero two one is now getting ready now. Go that one. So the master org is operations and then I will now make it to the definition R. I normally used to demonstrate with the different revisions actually. I'm going to make a change, but I'm not going to do this exercise actually. Thank you, sir. It's operations. I don't give it up. No, no. Did you figure out what is the item grouping behavior? What's the purpose of item grouping behavior? See, this reference org is mainly used only for transportation management. Say, for example, 
I got three orgs. One is in Madras, one in Coimbatore, and then one in Trichy. So let us say the shelf life is going to be five days in Madras. Means what? In Trichy and Coimbatore also it has to be five days. So if you make a reference arc, then whatever you make on the main one, there is Madras arc. So all the attributes will be getting reflected as what the same attribute value only on the other arcs. It will be a reference arc. Okay, fine. So we will not be able to make a change on the reference arc. So if I change any of the attribute on the Madras, the referenced arcs like a Where uh, Kaimbatur and Madurai will all be having the same attributes, and then this is mainly applicable only for transportation management. They have introduced it only for transportation management, and then it doesn't have much of a relevance to supply chain at all. Right? So nobody should use it. Oracle doesn't say so. They have brought in the future, but for whom they have brought in, they are not. Told. You see the Oracle documentation. All the documentation will be uh, giving an example only for the transportation management and not for supply chain management. Supply chain is of no use at all. When you do it, then what happens? You cannot do any changes on the reference dogs at all. Attributes cannot be changed, so it is a restriction, and then we don't want that restriction at all. Got it? Okay, thank you. So this one always make it as a definition dog. Whether it is going to be a master dog or child dog, always make it as a definition dog. If every dog is independent, so that you can put your hands on the attributes any on any of them. So locator control. Any doubts at any point of this task? You go to the locator control determinant sub unit level. The best one, okay. So we are now having locator control determinant sub unit level. The best level. Then if you don't know it as a, you have made it the pre-specified pre dynamic, you have to drop the org. We have we face this problem in one of the implementations. So initially they told that what happens is they want as a predefined, and then they want to make a change as a dynamic. We are unable to do it now. We, we four, the four or five organizations we drop for man industries Dubai actually. So this is uh, not changeable at all. Fine, right? you have to wait in the beginning itself. Fine, right? so I'm not enabling those are things. So my manufacturing and maintenance are enabled. Fine, right? so, so my child org is getting created, and then it is in the same master org. Fine, right? the master org is going to be same. Fine, right? zero 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 op operation is the master org. And then do not experiment on the reference org for the supply chain, and then you will not have it. And then afterwards, what happens? You, 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 there are utilities by which what happens? You can convert the reference to definition, then vice versa also. But uh, that is all patchwork. Fine, right? don't do that. <clears throat> It is not really having any uh, good implications as far as supply chain is concerned. That's it. Thank you. So click on save and close by which order my org is ready. So once when the org is ready, we'll now go there. Fine. We'll now go and then make a check. Fine. B zero two and then entry. Now fine. We'll now have another one. The org is ready or not? It's not ready. We'll now go back here. In this place what happens? We'll now go and then query my B zero two and then we'll now do a location organization type. This is an unnecessary one. Fine. Go there. So enables we do it only for back to back as well as your uh, ISO. So here it has been done by your team. So click on edit now. Fine. We'll go edit it. Go there. So accept this now. Go there. Come on, accept it. And then go further and try now. <clears throat> you know, go inside. <clears throat> so here I will now put the organization over. Right? Is a B zero two the one and B zero two. So is a B zero two child command. So the location organization is now type fine. Click on submit. So now we have to go and then create our sub inventories. I'm going to go there and then you know create the sub inventories. So we will have only one sub inventory for this exercise. Mind doesn't matter. There's more than sufficient for this one. Let's go to manage and sub percentage. Locate the percentage and create. We are at least one sub inventory. And we'll now go and then create our sub inventories. So the organization is what B zero two one. Thank you. Click on that and then click on OK. So the one fine click on plus now and now create only one sub inventory for this exercise. It's B zero two one underscore RMS one. That's it. So one the raw material source. The only one I'm going to create. Fine, take it over bit. And then for the description of fine. And then I will now do the location organization. Day is already done. Fine, go there B zero two. We go tap. It'll be coming automatically. Fine, click on save and close. By which the only sub inventory which is required for this exercise is now completed. Take on that. Now uh, for doing the interorg exercise, since it's a new org, I'm working on the vision actually. Fine, it is a entire entire vision jump. So every org, everything has been given the data access problem. But when you create a new org, what happens it is not done. So we have to what happens add the rows basically. So go back to one. So now click on the home icon. So whenever you are creating your own org, then we have to add add the rules on the vision. When you are working on the vision, what happens we have to add the rules. Fine, go back. I will now go to the security console, and then I have already done it. So I am just going to show it. Go back to one. So I am working on SCM sixteen actually. The users can go back to one. So click on the users, and then here. I have now put ESCM sixteen is the one I'm entering now. So here, uh, ESCM sixteen. If you go on them, edit it. So here, uh, we need these rules. These additional rules are required. So the receiving agent is required, 
fine. It is for receiving in the gate actually. And then the warehouse manager is for delivery. Fine. In intro transfer, in transit, we need we have to receive it in the uh, what happens the gate as well as we have to deliver it also. And then we need to see the stocks and other activities when when you want to make the transaction. What happens? Inventory manager is required. Fine. This is also required. Whereas if you're going to do it on zero zero one, it is not required. None of these roles are required. So the receiving agent, the shipping manager, the warehouse manager, and then the inventory manager are not required if you're doing it because OU SCM role is itself is having an inbuilt data access for all the ready-made orgs of vision actually. Right? That is already having it. So since I am not going to create a new one, fine, we need it. And then we need a data access also. So data access is also required for all the four roles actually. Right? We need data access. So I've added these four roles along with the cost accountant. Cost accountant is also required. Too. So I think I have not done it. Let me add the cost accountant first. Right? So let me go and edit it and then add the cost. Right? Maybe there, I'm not sure. I'll go there. I'll not go and then check for it is there or not. It will be there. Cost accountant also is required. Right? Cost. I might have done it now. So you see, cost accountant Vora, the required name. So cost accountant is only copy is there. That means what the original is already added. So close it. So it may be in the top actually. So cost accountant is also required. If you're going to do the cost accounting for the existing orgs of 001, 002, 003, etc., it's okay. But since I'm not going to involve my own org, the cost accountant is also required. So for all the five orgs, we have to provide the data. All the five roles, we have to provide the data. So one is the cost accountant. And then another is what? The receiving agent, the shipping agent, the warehouse manager, as well as the inventory manager. So this is already done. I'm not doing anything. I'm not giving cancels and coming over. So whenever you add a new one, that's me. Now we'll not go on and give the data access first. We'll not go on and give the data access first. So click on set up panels. Data access is an unnecessary headache for the supply chain. Even though we don't want it, it is now forced on us actually. We really don't want it at all. That is actually additional security, but the SaaS model is now saying that what happens, you have to be SaaS compliant means what? Security is a must have. Data access. So it has been forced upon us. Right? It is very good for finance, for projects, for HCM, et cetera, et cetera, but it is very bad for supply chain. Right? We have to live with it. We don't have any other way. Data. So, go to the manage data access for users. Because your purchase officer can make a purchase order for Bombay and not for Madras. There is no such consideration at all. No need to restrict people based upon the security. You know, right? But unfortunately, what happens is it has been forced upon. So, go there. Come on, go there. so, for the new org, I have to add everything. I will not go there. Is the SCM 16 is the one? SCM 16 is the one. Is the user now? Right? I will not, first of all, put the receiving agent. So in the receiving agent, if I don't do it, what happens? He will not be able to receive it at all. So go that to one. Is a B zero two one. So I'm not going to give it now. B zero two one. So click on plus now. Fine. Then we have to deliver it to the inventory in the intro and transit. Fine. Go that. So we will not give this now. So the next row is required. Go to space. Fine. Go that. Is a warehouse manager. Warehouse manager for a new created or it is a must. -up. The role is to be added and then data access is also required. Go that to one. I will not put B zero two one. B zero to one. I will not duplicate it. I will not go for the shipping manager. Shipping manager is not really required for this exercise actually. Man, whenever you perform a pick confirm or otherwise what a pick confirm, it is required actually. Man, for a pick confirm and then for ship confirm also it is required actually. Whenever you perform a pick confirm and ship confirm, it is required. So anyhow, I will not give it. No, man. No, go on that. Shipping manager. No, no, go for pick confirm and shipping, but ship confirm this is dead access is required. Even though we are not going to use it, I will just keep it. So next is what inventory manager. Otherwise, what happens? You cannot perform any transaction in inventory at all. And intro transfers when you want to perform. My inventory manager is a must find. I'm not going to perform an intro transfer for which whatever the inventory manager is a must. Go that tomorrow. So you know that. So I will not duplicated it and then I will not put the inventory manager over here. And then since our orgs are involved. So what you have to do for the cost accountant, there are two roles of that. Right? That has to be given. Nothing. So everything has been given. Nothing. So all the four are now here. Cost accountant also has to be given, but that is already given. Nothing. That is a common one. It is not inventory org specific, but it is a cost org and then the cost book specific actually. So this is not done. So I will not go on and show it to you, but how exactly I have done. Nothing. I have already done. So I cannot do it again. Yes, I'm 16. And then I will not go for the cost accountant. Cost and then we have now. Cost accountant. I've already given it. So the cost accountant for the cost org, which is US operations, and then what happened? The business unit also has it is it has been done. So this is not required if you're going to transact between 001 to 002 or any of the mission orgs. But now I'm not going to transact between 001 to B02. Since I'm going to do it, then this is also required. This data access is also required. 
Okay, fine. So I'm going to receive in the B002. So for receiving in the B002, if you don't have the rate access, I cannot, uh, what happens is do the accounting for this. Amount. So this is also done. So I have already done it. So it's all okay. So the four roles of receiving agent, warehouse manager, inventory manager, and then the shipping manager have been done. And then afterwards, the cost accountant for the cost org, and then the co and then the, your business unit, fine. One at the BU level, and then one at the cost org level. When I was working on a release nine, then it was basically what happens at a higher level role. This was not there at all. Fine. So we have a data role there. Fine. That data role has been removed and then has been brought over here. No, no, sir. Quick question. Do we have an FBDA template for this? Huh? FBDA template have... for uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is there. Uh, you don't know that no, fine. Uh, my schools have uh, done it. A lot of R and D, and then they have done a lot of things on this. No, fine. Ah. Uh, uh, they have made one template actually, fine. They made one uh, document on this now, fine. I have forgotten about where exactly it is. Okay, no worries. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll How to it. upload the roles, fine, using okay. an FBDA or whatever it is, now, fine. Uh, I think it's only an FBDA. Uh, you, what, who is this? You are Ashok. I'm Rajas. Raja. I'm Raja. Raja, now, fine. Are you Raja. there in the group now? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the group. Yeah, you can uh, ask the group people, fine. My, my team members will tell you, fine. I don't know where exactly it is, now, fine. The whatever document they have given already uploaded you know, I don't know where exactly it is. So ask them in the group about how to upload the roles using a PDA. Right? So they will now give you. Right? I yeah, also right? need this, Dana. Huh? I also need that. Yeah, you ask it. the group. I don't know where exactly it is now. <laughs> it is there. Fine. My students have given a lot of documents and then that happens there. So ask them, they will now help you out. Right? My students will help you out in doing it. Otherwise, I don't yeah. go and then sit and then uh, uh, what happens, uh, search my complete repository and then give it to you. Right. You know, see, if the student doesn't respond, then I will not sit and then I will not do it. Right. So, if the roles can be uploaded using a video, right? that is the best way because when you have, let us say, 500 users, and then for every users, you have to give around 20 roles, 1000 entries, you cannot manually make. No? It's very, very difficult actually. Right. So, that is why right. this, will be, this will be very useful actually. Uh, but uh, I the, never the done number it. Number of orgs can mm -hmm. also be multiplied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Org, yeah. It's multiplied the orgs also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Users, orgs, and then roles. Fine. <laughs> multiply, multiply, multiply. It becomes very huge, actually. Yeah. And they have a technique. One guy, is, when I was uh, conducting the training, was saying that how he has uh, copied it very fast, actually. Fine. And then I made a modification to the Excel, Excel sheet, actually. Ah, that was all good. <clears throat> okay, fine. So the roles are now given. Now, what happens? We are now going to see the visions uh, costing structure, actually. You know, go to the click on it now. You know, go to this placement click on it now. <clears throat> you know, go to this placement click on that search now. Fine. <clears throat> you go there. It's called manage. What happens? I'm not uh, touching the costing setup because it's all done now. Fine. This uh, training is uh, mainly concentrating only on the accounting entry. Fine. Manage default cost profile. So manage default cost profile is the one. Fine. <clears throat> I will now take a notepad also. Fine. So here, uh, the cost book is US operations, and then the, the cost org is US operations, then cost book is US is financials. And then uh, Vision has uh, demonstrated everything on a category. Actually, I don't use a category at all. So here, I will now see which categories I can use. And this is the one. Uh, let me go on and check whether uh, the actual cost, the computer monitor sign, actual cost as a tonight. Asset cost profile is what actual cost asset now. So let me note down these things and then what happens? I will now create one accordingly. So it's actually it's actual cost. Actual cost is first in first out cost. I don't want it now. Right? So costing method is actual cost. I don't want a first in first out cost. I want a perpetual average. I will not take up this now. Fine with that. Uh, computer servers is the average cost. Fine with that. The actual cost. I don't want it. Fine. You go to the average cost. Fine with that. I want to have a perpetual average. Yes, very good now. Fine with that. So the cost profile. I will not say this is the cost profile now. Fine with that. So average cost is something like that. So I want to note down some of the values actually. You cannot be using it. Fine. Profile. This is the one now. Fine. Cost profile is this now actually. And perpetual average is okay. And then uh, we'll not see the categories. Now, fine. Category wise costing. And go that you want. So is there any category here now? Fine? Uh, so, Nana, no, no, sir. Uh... Hmm. In the world of EBS, whatever was called as moving average or average is now yeah, called as perpetual yeah. average. Hmm. Okay. See, here, perpetual average is basically moving average. And then in EBS, we have a periodic average costing. There is yet to come now. Right? So in, in fusion, only the uh, perpetual average cost, the standard cost, the average cost has come. The periodic average costing as well as the last in first out costing are yet to come. Right? It is expected to come before December, actually. It will be coming very soon. Okay. 
So it's not exactly like EBS. EBS is more powerful, but here costing is more powerful when compared to EBS. So it doesn't show anything at all in the category actually. Fine. So it's not showing me anything. Fine. I have no note down the cost profile actually. The cost profile is not noted down. Fine. And then I will not see the category. Category is computer servers. So the category is what? So when I create an item on computer servers, automatically it becomes a perpetual library. The category is they are using and computer servers the category. So if you do it, it will now become a perpetual average, perpetual average cost. So let us now go on and create an item on computer servers. No, fine. We will now go that one. I will now right click and then duplicate. I will now do it on what computer servers actually. So you go to the home icon and then here for you go that on it. So now go to the what product, uh, product management, and then I will now go that on it. So now go to the product information management and then here I'm not going to create an item. <clears throat> it's a B0 to item. I know that. I will not creating on the master or common R. We all have a very common R. So 000 is a common R. So the structure remains the same. Only thing is the child R is a different type of pattern. So click on it. Now go that click on it. So click on create item. So the master R is going to be 000. So 000. Let it be any template. Doesn't matter. Fact, click on it. Go to this place, and then here, what I'm going to do is I will now, first of all, what uh, I will now go and then put the item over here. Find it is a B02 underscore professor cost test. Cost test data. So take off of it and then go there, paste it over here. On the other one. So go there, and then here, I'm now going to do it. What I'm going to associate now. I click on the association. I will not try to associate the both dogs. Now it is not possible now. Right? You cannot associate a B02 allow. I'm going to the action, I'm going to select that. It will not allow you at all. Some systems will allow. So I will now say 001, it will allow. And the vision arc will allow. Click on apply and then click on done. But for B002, it will now ask for function security and data security. So in, in some instances, it comes automatically as soon as you create now, but it's not happening in every instance. I don't know why it's go there. I will not write associate to what B02. B02. Now go there, click on it. Now coming, select and then click on apply and then click on done now. You don't have any permission to know. So you see, you don't have any permission. So this doesn't happen in every instance, actually. Find some instances. So let us now provide the function security and the data security for this domain. That I will not give a same. Offer. I will not first of all give a same. B0 to cost this is not same. So let us now go and then provide the function security and data security for the newly created R. Maybe had it logged out and logged in or something like that would have happened. But what happens? Let us now go on and do it manually. Previously, what happens only for structures, we need to have the function security and data security. But even for the inventory or they keep on changing this. Okay? I don't know what to do. Okay? No, they go. They go they on. They no, provide the function security and data security for the inventory or which you have just created. Click on search. Okay? Go to the manage item class. These concepts keep on changing from uh, version to version. So do not consider this as the ultimate one. Okay? You are, it will be changing. You have to get adopted to the changes. Okay? And go to the manage item class now. So I click on it. I will now choose the root item class and then click on edit now. This place I go to the security now. So click on the security. And then here I'm going to add the security now. Manually I'm adding the security. So go there. So I go there, click on it. I will not give a plus. I will not give a plus. And then I will now manually add the function security. Find the group level. It is a product data. Word. and then use the ORA now. Fine. ORA is the best one. Fine. So that is having the highest privilege actually. Fine. Use the ORA now. Okay. And then I will now provide the function security first of all. So that you know, the B021 and then give a tab and then give a save. But when you go to the live instances, you need not have to give the, this comes automatically. When you're creating an R, this entry becomes automatic. I've seen it in the live instances. Fine. When, I, when I was doing a, a implementation last year, Right. We have seen that it is not coming automatically. So if it doesn't come, if, if it is already there, it will not throw an error. No, fine. It will not say it is already existing. It is not existing. So no problem at all. It won't be a, a duplicate actually. Fine. It's not available. Fine. You select it, and then what happens if you select it? It will be coming to the bottom. Fine. So the actions will be coming for the B0 to 1. Fine. Go to the actions, and then go to select and add, and then let me add all now. <clears throat> so click on search now, fine, by which I'm now adding everything. Fine. Go there. You go to the actions by the side. What happens? There will be a box. Fine. Click on it. Everything gets selected in one go. And then click on apply and then click on go. 
only on product hub you will be selectively choosing the data functions the data security will be selective only for the product hub whereas for the pure supply chain you will not select everything now we'll not go there and assign it now so you know that so you'll not go there tomorrow so it's all done fine go to the space fine go to the manager item, item class is now completed and the product so the create item fine the process is there so now i will not go there and then i'll try to associate and click on associate now fine so it is already associated to 001 fine for that click on actions and go to select net this time it will not throw an error the b 021 fine entry now go there and then select and then click on but also apply and then done now it is going to accept it now so go there click on set now i want to make it as a perpetual cost and so i am going to make a change to the categories so categories are must level and go there and go and change it so the categories got the long go that we have to choose and put as a computer servers i can find once when you do it what about the item the profiling is automatic and so what happens you go there go to the categories and then change it and click on it there's a non categories one i will now change it to what computer servers so computer servers by which this now becomes actual cost so it all is category dependent uh, as a cost profile right it's a very rarely one when in our implementations we have never gone into at the depth of our categories with Uh, but uh, if the customer wants it, you have to do it. Fine. Mission is now going to such a great depth actually. So my items are all getting created. Fine, click on save now. Fine, item is now created. It is assigned to both the orgs now. But again, go on and have a look at the association section. Now the association then have a look at it now. So it is now assigned to both the orgs. Fine, we are now provided this function security and data security. Remember, in some cases it may not be required at all. Only when it says that you don't have a permission, you have to do it. Otherwise, what happens now? Go there, click on save and close by which what happens? The item is now created actually. now costing setup there are two setups on the costing we are doing now and one on the costing setup we are doing now and the con setup and maintenance and then we'll now go on and do the setups of the costing now go to this place further click on the setup now and click on search go there it's called manage find cost org relationship we are not going into in depth of the uh, costing setup actually fine is all fully conducted actually fine there so you go to the manage cost organization i will now say it starts with us operations So the cost org is starting on US operation. Thank you, consultant. Now I am going to add my org. So we'll now query for the US. Oh, sorry, it is US operations. US OPE. So click on search. So US operations. I am going to query for it. I will now add my inventory org. <coughs> so let us now go on and add it. US operations. So there will be so many will be coming now on the bottom because vision has got plenty of setups actually. So go there. So okay, uh, only one is coming. Thank you. So I will now go to the inventory org. And remember, when you add an inventory org, we cannot remove it from this place at all. Once when transactions take place, after the transaction phase, so Seattle is zero zero one. We are going to use it now. Fine, click on plus one point. We add now. Dallas is zero zero three. Atlanta is zero zero one. Fine. So everything is there actually. Fine. The B zero two. Fine. I will now say the B zero two. Fine. Give it up. So it's a name. Now fine. B zero two. Child one is the name. Just going to come up now. Fine. So once when an org is added to the cost org, you cannot remove from the relationship at all. No, it cannot happen. Is not possible at all. Once when the transaction starts, we cannot associate any other cost org. So initially, you have to discuss. Fine. Three. Uh, this is a very important point of it because we are not talking of multiple PCBUs. No, fine. So here you cannot even remove any inventory org from a cost org. Right? So it's not done. No, fine. So click on save and then save and close. This is one setup we are doing on the existing one. No, fine. Keep on saving. Next is what manage valuation units. So go to the manage valuation units. Manage valuation units. Basically, you are trying to add the current inventory org to the existing cost profile. That way, exactly, exactly. Cost exactly. gets distributed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, is it actually uh, manage fine valuation units? Manage ELU percentage, dual IT percentage. So manage valuation units. One of the manage valuation units. I go there. So here, I will now query for this one. Query is not. Let me query one. The US non operation. Oh God, sorry. Is it US OP? So click on search now. Fine. US, US operations. The cost are built like that. So there are so many profiles which are automatically created. So if you go on and try to edit it, what happens? It will not be possible at all. On an automatic one, you cannot add anything at all. No addition at all. And I want to add one more line. It's not possible at all. So I made one manual and then I will do. It. Automatically created, you cannot add anything at all. You cannot add anything. At all. The plus symbol will not be there. So I made one manual actually. Only on the manual you can do it. So I will now keep my custom on the manual. I made one manual. This is the one I made. So 
uh, you know, choose the manual and then you know, click on plus one. Let me add it. For the testing, what happens? I now created one org here. Now, find so zero zero one one is there actually. Find so it's a zero zero one. So let me add it into this now. Let me add it. Fine. So the valuation structure is inventory or gazette. Now, find the valuation structure. And okay, is asset structure. Find so the flux field is what cost or inventory or. We never go. I have no. I, in fact, what happens? I implemented it for my customers on the three segmental org. Fine. Cost or inventory org and sub inventory. But uh, the customer is not happy with the results. Of so in the test instance, I made a three segmental one, but uh, when I, when we moved on to production, they asked me to bring it to one because the desired results were not obtained at all. So even though it's all very highly, uh, what happens, uh, uh, spoken, but uh, in reality, you won't find, if you go for a three segmental one, four segmental one and all fine, you won't be finding any real utility at all. So otherwise the customer insists upon, do not go for a higher segmental fine. Only cost org, inventory org is the best one now, fine. 99.9% .9 of the implementations, this is the best one. Actually. So do not use. So click on plus no fine. I'm going so to basically, you're saying uh, not a lot of people would prefer to have a different costing at some inventory level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it because it was a bakery company. And so they were having what? A frozen sub inventory and then for the butter and then one chilled sub inventory. So the cost incurred on the frozen is higher when compared to the chilled because they, uh, they cool it to a great extent, actually. And it is minus 20 degrees. And then chilled will be approximately four degrees. So since the cost of a storage on two different supplements are different, they wanted me to configure it to a three-level segment, but they they see the result and then it was not really happy. They were not happy at all. So they asked me to bring it to two level. So some, okay. you, you have a serial level and then a cost inventory or serial, cost inventory or lot, cost inventory or grade. So many things are available, but they may not be really meaningful actually. So we'll now go to the segment value center. I will not go to the space. So I will not go on then put the segmental value over there. I will not put the segmental value over there. So go there. The cost org is what? US and then it is, I think, 001. Yeah, 001. So the inventory org is what? B02, B021. So B02 is the one. So B02 is the one. So I have added one more valuation structures. One more valuation unit has been added for the same. So uh, one second, they're not coming as a 004 actually. <clears throat> uh, I will not say cancel, let me see. I have done it for B01 actually. I will not see whether it is there or not. I will not see whether I have done it. Because if I add it onto my one, it will be great actually. Uh, how to query? There is a query method. No, it's not query at all. So everything is coming as auto. I want to query only the manual ones. No, I have made one manual actually. Oh God. Is an expense actually. I, I don't want for an expense actually. I want only for an asset actually. I want to have it only for an asset actually. Ah, this is on, the, on the top valuation unit, you have. Yeah, is the one. So let me add it on this actually. And will be a great one. Let me add it on this one. So I will not keep my customer. I'm going to click on any one. So click on what happens at plus. So B0 is the one. So click on yes, not that. I will not add it. I will not add it. It's a US. <laughs> And then it is a 001, and I will add it what B02, and then one So click on OK, man. No, right. So the setups on the costing side, one on the valuation unit, and then one of the cost or relationship of the only one you on the existing one, if you're doing on the one. That's all done. Now, what you do is after having done this, you know, go there, close it, and then I click on that, and then I'll come out of it. And then we will now do what? Yeah, simple transaction, you know, cost the product. So for which, what happens, you have to first of all, log out and log in. So whenever you do any major changes, what happens, it is always preferable to sign out and sign in. And then afterwards, do this one and click on sign out. So click on confirm. <clears throat> okay, sign in. So let me go there and then receive this item on the destination or I don't know go to this place, right? go to the place. So click on it. I don't know go to the supply chain execution. I know that one. I will not go to the inventory management, but uh, let me receive it on the distribution mark first of all. Make a miscellaneous receipt on this. I click on it. No more that on it. No more miscellaneous receipt. So I am in the 001. Let me make a change on this. So I can even um, make it as a default because I am not going to do it again and again. Fine. Let me make it as a default actually. I am not going to make it as a default. I am going to the setup and maintenance. And then let me make the org as a default actually. I will not go to the profiling. Fact, fine. I go that. So I will not go to the search. Fine. Put the managed inventory profile. So manage 
inventory percentage profile percentage mana ni mana management profile chalo so go to the management profile and then i click on search now fine so i will not change the default org for this xcm cm16 actually user so the inventory default org so okay and then go down go down so you now see for the one on the user uh it may not be there thank you for trust me not right add it at the user level actually at the user level let me add it user level let me add it so it's a scm 16 find the scm 16 right then i give it app to be coming for which whatever i will not make this as a one come on we are not coming so no dot in the thank you app i will not say whatever there is a b 021 actually go down go down the b zero to one b zero to one so for this user what happens is this is the default org so i know set up the default org so in what default org for if and user level i decide now i have to come say one close everything is not up so now we are going to do a lot of activities and so what happens i know sign out on sign in so whenever you make such a major changes what happens you always uh, prefer to sign out on sign so what what is not working at all ah drop no, it comma it you put it scm16 comma you should put oh, dot oh, oh. I need to put a comma. I need to click on it. I will not put a dot. No, I will put a. Yeah, it will. Who from America is able to see this? No, I am unable to see from India itself. <laughs> I put a comma there. Okay, my brother. So click on seven close. No, I am sorry. Okay, it is not done. So we will know what happens if we always log out and log in for making the efforts. No, I am click on sign out and go. Sign out and sign. And then let us now first of all cost the product. We will not cost the product. We will not make a miscellaneous use of the cost of product. And then we will not perform an intra transfer first. I came on it. I will not go there. I will not go to what? I am going to cost the product. I will not go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the cost management. Uh, I will not have to perform a miscellaneous result. So let me put it on there. What's called on the favorites. Now I click on it. Now I add the favorites. We have we have to click on the comma again. Let me add the favorites now. So, so my R is coming as a default R. So is the user specific one? We can even put to the site level fine. Put the add to favorites. <clears throat> I will not say it's a inventory only. Go there. Click on save and close. It's not a. So go there. Come on. We will not go there. We will not perform a miscellaneous transaction. We will not cost the product. So I have a document now. Fine. Create a document. I uh, will not go there and show it. Uh, I will not. So for the Oracle, I created the document now. Oracle is same thing. All the fusion unit documentation. So accounting entry is IOD in transit. This is the document I made. Accounting entry is IOD in transit. This is the document I made. It. So in this one, I am not going to have what a uh, hundred dollars as a credit number. So I will not keep a quantity. What I will not keep a quantity of what let's say uh, uh, inter of transfers is not coming. So the credit of hundred actually five hundred. So everywhere the hundred is not coming up. No point with that. So I will now keep let us say for some good amount of one five. So the uh, the product cost is going to be ten, and then I will now transfer ten. Okay. So ten ten is hundred now. So let me have it. <clears throat> I will now go that point. I will now use the miscellaneous receipt. No. So miscellaneous receipt is the one I am using it. No. So click on it. So I am in this or my product no. And then remember. The valuation may not come properly, but it's a vision. It's okay. Otherwise, what happens? It will not throw another. So we have to set up the inventory valuation for your org actually. Right. So since the the core combination IDs are already there in the vision, it is accepting it. Otherwise, it will not accept. So use current item cost is no, no, fine, not yes. I will not put my item. It's a B zero one, B zero two, and then we have no fine. That's the item. So this this organization has got only one item on this one. B zero two cost test is the one. So go there. Click on it. I will now have what happens. Only one I'm going to find. B zero two. I'm going to get that number. There is only one subunity over there. I will now go for another hundred points. I'm going to click on the details. I'm not going to give a cost. So click on it. So I'm going to go there. So I will now give a cost of ten dollars. So we have a cost of what? So these are the two incoming cost components. Now one is the item price and the non-recoverable tax. I will now use the item price and I will now say ten dollars. Ten dollars the price of it, and cost of it. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars. So hundred dollars, hundred and ten thousand dollars will be the what happens? The total inventory valuation cost at a perpetual average. Dollars. So everything is done on that. So account is done. Twenty dollars. Okay, then we will not submit. So we are not given ten dollars units. Cost five. So hundred point is now done. Twenty dollars. Submit. The transaction process is no issues. 
So on this org, I am now having sufficient quantity enough and enough. So go that amount. I will not go on that run that. I will not transfer transactions into cost enough and enough. So once when the transaction is completed, we will not go that amount. I go to this place. I will not go to the tools, <coughs> and then I go to the security console, and then uh, let me schedule the process, and then let me transfer it to part of the costing area. So go there. Click on the schedule new process. You know, go that amount. Just to cost the product. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have to do it. That is what happens in the, the, the other org also. I have to have it. So let me have it in the other org also. So let me go there. So and the 001 also, let me have it. And the 001 we have because it has to be costed. There are some trade clearing accounts which are going to come up if the item is not clearly done. So that is why what happens that we have to have that also. So go to the create miscellaneous transaction. On the 001 to B002, I'm going to do it now. 001 also, let me give it now. So let me go on and change the arc to 001. Okay. Zero, zero, 001. I'm not going to keep sufficient stock in that 001 also. So I'm going to change to 001. So click on the create miscellaneous transaction. Go there. So go there. Drop it off. I will not make it the miscellaneous result now. So it's a miscellaneous child. Drop it off. I will not make it the miscellaneous result. So miscellaneous result from there. So I'm not taking a copy of the account now. Remember when you're doing it. For each and every org, you may have to add the inventory valuation right? in reality. So, click on okay. Then only the account will be coming out. So, I am on 001 now. Find where that point. I don't know where that point is. The B02 underscore C, and then you would have more time. I will not keep it on stores actually. There are plenty of sub units for that. On stores, I'm going to keep it on stores. I will not keep 100 quantities. Okay, no so, is the no? And so, what happens is that we have to give a cost on something like that. So click on any details and then I'll be giving you a cost. Click on the cost. So we have stock in both the places actually. It is mainly to what happens to simulate certain things on this moment, on this test, the vision distance actually. In reality, it's not like that. Nana, the item that you put in, I think it should be B02 child or not no, the cost. I'm now working on 001. So I already, on the child org, I already transacted. Yeah. So on this okay. org also, I'm now bringing in. Right? I'm now bringing okay. in stock on that. Source organization also. But it's a different item. They say B02 cost is the same item. Last time also I put the same item on. No, am I correct? Anybody? No, I thought you put B, B02 child one, right? No, no, no. That is an organization. This is the item. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. This is the item. Yeah, yeah. There is an organization. Okay. So it's all done. <clears throat> now, what happens? Let me transfer transactions from inventory to costing. So let me transfer the transaction will not be possible. So we'll now go that point. We'll now go to the place. <coughs> then go to the tools no point. Go to the schedule the process. Let me add it to this no point. I'll now go to the favorites and then let me add to the favorites also. So go to average favorites and then uh, the monitor you can also close not become sure. So I will now transfer transactions from inventory to costing. Transfer transactions from inventory to costing. So that you won't be getting an error for trade clearing actually. Fine. For trade clearing, you won't be getting an error. Everything will be properly set up. So transfer transaction inventory cost. So I'm going to move it from 001 to B02. Fine. That is my way of working now. 001 to B02. So for moving it, first of all, we have to provide the interop parameters. So once when the interop parameters are set, what happens? We can very well do it. We don't go that far. So no set of the interop parameters. We are not running. So let it run. We'll not go on that. Let me take. We'll not go there. And then provide the interop parameters for these two all. 0012 B02. We'll not go that far. We'll not go to the search. Now. Go to the what? Manage. Enter. Go to the manage interop parameters. So here I will not give a plus now. So from 001, 001, it's a B02. So go there. No transfer order request, and I will not make it a big transfer. I will not make it a what standard. So the distance is 100 kilometers. It's a kilometer. When I was working on uh, release 9, at the time, what happens is that these two are mandatory parameters. You don't give it, what happens is it won't be coming. It's not coming as a kilogram, actually. <laughs> Kill, I'm not fine. Kilometer actually, I'm not coming. Okay, doesn't matter. Anything is okay. 
uh, because it doesn't sense whether it is a kilogram or a kilometer times okay but uh, in release line uh, if you don't give it what happens it was throwing another no we raised the sr and then it was oracle corrected there so it happened so it is on 001 to b021 fine you have to do it otherwise what happens you won't be able to transfer it out so on the interaction with that okay fine by which the intro parameters are fully set up so click on save and close whenever you have a save and close or submit you have to wait now fine that is a mandatory one fine Go to this place, okay. So it's not coming back. I'm not going to transfer transaction from inventory cost. So there are two transactions are there. So cost org becomes a what happens a parameter actually. Okay. It is US operations. US operations the cost org and leave the commit interval time to consider. So whatever transaction we are done, everything will be transferred to the costing. Okay. It will not go into the interface tables of cost accounting, and then from that we are now going to bring it to the base tables. Transfer transaction inventory cost is no one. So this will now push it into the interface tables tables of cost accounting. And then from that, we will now bring in. So in the meantime, what I'm going to go there, we'll go to the costing area. Click on the home. I'm going to go to the costing area. So click on the home icon. I will now go to the supply chain execution now. I will now go to the supply chain execution. <laughs> supply chain execution. And then here I will now go to the cost accounting area. So this is also let me add to the favorites now because we have to come to over here. I'm going to go to this place. I'm going to go to the cost accounting. Let me add to the favorites now. So click on the favorites and then add to the favorites. So click on add to favorites. <coughs> so it's uh, it's called uh, cost for you. Cost for you. And click on some of And then always have your cost org being displayed on this place. Now there is a center portion. Fine, click on it and then drop it down and then choose your cost org. It's a US operation. Choose your cost org. So when you are not set the accounts very properly. It will now give you error actually. Error message will be coming over here. The lower loss. So what happens? You can very well uh, rectify the errors by going through the info let itself. Info let itself will be giving all the errors. So then the cost of mine is now giving a lot of valuation. That is the biggest problem. So when I conduct a training, I will always be having my own structure at all. Right? So this one I will never uh, go to the visions at all. Right? I will have my own structure. So that what happens? The cost will be zero. So as and when I push it, what happens? I can very well show it, but here, what happens? Since there is so much of other transactions, what happens? It's not showing a lot of things. Right? It's very difficult. To go well, now first of all, see whether the period is open or not. I will now go to the manage cost accounting periods and then ensure that the period is open. Actually, go there. Yeah, tell me. Somebody wants to talk to me. Any doubts? You ask me now. Somebody is asking anything. Okay. Nobody is asking. Starts with what? It is a US operation. Is a US OP. And then click on search. I am working on the vision now. Vision bekar because what happens is there is nothing to demonstrate. Everything is ready-made actually. <laughs> that is the reason that I never touch on vision at all. But I don't have time to create my own structure and then demonstrate to you. There are plenty of things that are coming out of this place. So go there. Look on. So go there. Click on it. You know, have a look at it. Click on it. You know, see what is the state of the bit. So view period details. And this is a use operations and use operations. And it's possible. It is not, not this one. Fine. This is the one. So use operations and financials. Fine. This is the one. So go there. So if you go on and see, fine. Uh, we'll now click on the view period. So US operation, the cost organization, the cost book is financial actually. This is the primary view. Fine. This one you choose it and then click on the view period details. View period details. So here, what happens? Everything is open. Fine. 122, 222, 322, 4, 5, 6, 7. Everything is open actually. So they opened it up a bit all also. And they already opened everything. So in the vision, what happens? Everything will be kept open actually. Fine. The GL period has to be open and then afterwards your cost period, cost. Uh, costing also has to be open. Fine. Everything is all open. The vision so click on. So periods are open. Now we can very well go on then create our distribution section. Fine. After the periods are open, we can go there. You know, do it now. So that is why in vision there is no charm at all. Fine. Everything is ready made, and so we have nothing to do at all. So click on the create cost accounting distributions. This is now going to bring the interface table to the page table. So we'll have what one US. I forgot the name. Fine. The run control name. I forgot. Uh, there is a rent control name by US. So, this is one. So, US operations are rent control. So, if you go on and see, it has got what happens the cost org and the cost book, the ledger is now coming. And the one for which what happens, it will not run the uh, what's called scheduled process. So, this scheduled process is now going to bring the data. It is not having any parameter at all. When you're pushing it into the cost area, it is now asking for the cost org. Whereas, when you're doing the Distribution creation by bringing in the interface table data into the base tables, it will not ask any parameter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody's mic is on. Please, please mute it. You're doing this. If you're not speaking, please mute your mic. 
So you know what I mean? So you know, go to what you go that point. I will not. What happens? You go to the monitor process. Fine. Right? Go to the monitor process. Right? So click on refresh. Fine. You know me running. So once when this is running, fine. Go there. Automatically, it will all be running. Click on take cost of running. Distributions not running. So this will now create the distributions. In EBIS, the distributions are perpetual. As and when the transactions take place, the distributions are created. Here we have to push it to the costing area, and then afterwards we have to create the distributions. They don't need to be created there. So this, uh, they told me, I undergone this training in the US in uh, Redwood Shores, California. There they told me the reasoning for this, but it was going like a bouncer puppy. <laughs> it's all so much of a financial uh, things they were talking about. I couldn't understand about why they have done things. They told that what are the drawback in EBS and then how they have rectified intuition, all this thing. Got. It's very, very difficult to understand. Actually. So actually uh, here you need a cost accountant, but uh, majority of the companies uh, cannot afford to have a cost accountant at all. So only the supply chain team with the half knowledge, they take care of it. Actually. Finance team will not have time at all to come on and look at all these things actually. You are supposed to set up all the mappings etc. So it normally takes approximately two minutes now, man. So it's not running now. So you know, man. So in the meantime, I think techni technically, oh. a financial accountant is different from a cost accountant. Of That's course, naturally, yeah. <laughs> your financial accountant is a different one from cost accountant. That's very true, actually. But and, uh, what and, to do? Company cannot afford that many executives for a project, actually, and that's the problem. So with right. the minimal staff, they run it now, man. They want to be a uh, what a jack of all trades, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so click on save and close now. Now no, go on and review it now. Thank you. Go on. Now review it. And go to the place. Review cost accounting distributions. We go there and then we want to review it now. They will not say you cost on item starts with now. Item starts with what? B02. Right. B02 underscore C now. And go there. click on search now. They're not running. So you will now see the cost accounting would have taken place now. There are two transactions in the inventory area. You can now see that both the transactions will be completed. This thing is still running up and more deposits still running. It takes approximately more than two minutes. And let's wait for this thing to create. So create cost accounting distributions is still running up. You know, submitting this. So once when the child gets completed, the parent will be getting updated. And let's now spawn the child actually. So now, now go there and see this. So here it's still running. Fits the details actually. Item starts with no, no, generally the trade events are going to happen only during intercompany. Uh -huh. uh, without without intercompany, have you ever seen any? Uh, no, uh, even without the intercompany, we are going to see the trade events happening now. Here, see, it is not going to be intercompany. So in our case, what I have seen, so that is why I am not even understand this. No, right? my uh, 001 to B02, let us say this is the B02. It is not intercompany. Right? Here also the trade events are happening actually. No, no, the, the, the reason I mean why sometimes it happens is it depends on the PCBU. As long as you have you can have two PCBUs or, or different PCBUs within a legal entity. But Vision has got only one PCBU. Right? So yeah, yeah. we don't no, have I'm uh, I don't, that's why what happens. I actually wanted a cost accountant to come up and clarify all the accounting, but oh god, I'm unable to get it. So we got two transactions. So both of them are fully costed, but not accounted. Let me go on and do the accounting also. So for this exercise, I'm accounting it also. So you can go down and then see on this arc, find the point. So this arc, what happens on this one, it is a $10 cost. And for the next one, what happens is now having $10 cost. Let me go on and account it also. Now go on and create accounting. So here, what happens is create accounting is not your cup of tea. So it will be done either with a cost accountant or financial accounts because they will be initially doing it what? I don't go there. This is the US primary ledger. Okay. Go and then see the ledger is what? US primary ledger. Uh, US and then space PRI and then go to app now. Fine. For the US, US primary ledger, I'm going to do it now. Fine. So we can even process for all now. Fine. If you don't know specifically what exactly you want to do, leave it blank. Fine. I don't go there. I'm not going to go for a detail now. Fine. I'm not posting it also. Let me do it also. Fine. Let me post it. Also. So everything is now getting posted. So click on submit by which what happens? Uh, this activity is now done now. Fine. In vision, what happens is that when you are doing it for a new org, then what happens? One such costing has to be done. Off. Otherwise, it's not throwing an error on the trade. The trade clearing is not throwing an error. So I don't know why it is so fine. So this is again a simulated exercise actually. But uh, again, fine. since it is in a vision, uh, I am unable to understand. But in reality, my students told me that sir, this sort of a, what happens? The result is not required at all. I can directly cost during the uh, 
uh, so what was the inter, inter, inter transfer so thank you so okay but items will be costed when you're bringing the item into the system fine when you're importing it will be bringing it as a cost item only. so that is what they told me so create accounting is running fine let it run now let us now perform the intro transfers so go that one close it let us now log out and log in fine let us now log out and log in so we are working on a, what's called a, uh, a simulated element on the vision actually fine in reality, uh, my students say that uh, what happens, it will be a different one. Item will be coming with a cost loan when you're importing it. Actually. So no need to do this miscellaneous and all. Right? Miscellaneous receipts and all, uh, you will not do it. Unless or the stock has to be updated, they will not use it. Right? For this also, they will not use the APD. So let us now perform that, what's called your intro transfers. Right? 0012, what happens, B02, we will wait. Right? I will not go to the inventory over you, and then go there, and then click on it. I will not go to this place. I will not perform an intro transfer. <coughs> So go to the manage intro transfers fine. I have no good credit intro transfer. So click on it. No credit. The accounting is happening. I will not leave it as well. So the destination organization is what? I will not I will not change the source organization to what? Uh, 001. Not change zero. Fine. Whenever you log out and log in, the default org will be B021. I am not changing it. Fine. I will not perform an intro transfer. Click on the create intro organization transfers. So wherever you have the intro parameters, it will be coming. Fine. Drop it down. You have to get the B02 now. Drop it down. Oh God, B02 is not coming. Now, other <clears throat> is not coming at all. B02. Oh God, I got it. So, whenever you perform an intro transfers, what happens? You have to give the receiving parameter the destination. Or if it's not, then what happens? The remote not coming at all. We have to give the receiving parameter. Fine. Right click on the duplicate. Now, fine. So, let us now go there and then perform this. Now, fine. Uh, okay. So, this is the one. I go there. So I go there and then I will now give the receiving parameters to the destination. Otherwise, we cannot transfer it. Thank you. Once I have it has now performed the receiving information. So click on it, go there, and then click on search. Now. Go to the manage receiving parameters. Manage receiving parameters. So the receiving parameter of the destination org is a must actually for performing intra transfer. So we'll not change the org to what B02 now. So B021 and entry now. Not changing it now. Not even change. So I now go that thing on it. Drop it on, make it as a non fine. So these are all fully explained in my procurement training. Every aspect of it is not fully explained. We got a lot of activity as well. I am in a meeting actually. Hello? I am in a meeting. I will call you later. Now. Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Numeric. And go back now. So go there. So here, the next number is going to be 2000 now. 2000 is the one. And I will not put the receipt routing as what? As a standard inspection. RMA receipt routing. And what not. And all done now. And what not. So it is all done. So this much is sufficient for us to begin with actually on this now. Uh, okay. So this much is sufficient and then here what happens, I'm going to save it now. So 2000 and automatic numeric kind of So the receiving parameters has to be set now. So once with the receiving parameters set, we go there, click, now it has to come now, click on it. The B021 has to come over here. So click on search now, because the screen is already locked. Then I will make a search here. Now. It's coming now. Mandichi, we got it. Okay. Okay. So click on it. So it is not done now. Fine. It will not go to the place. Place number. No coming from there. Shipment number. I will not say. What happens? I will not say. Uh, it's a B zero two fine. B zero two underscore one not one. One not. I will not say. What happens? Uh, for spray. <coughs> for spray. Uh, for spray um, activity. So give a, a reason why you are shifting it from one not to the other. And the bill number is one two three. And the so the carrier is what I will not say. Dhf. Number of packing units is three. The D has not done. Enough, right? So, if a carrier has been done, what happens? It does specific for both dogs. I have not done it. Right? I'm not doing this carrier. So, DHL is there only for 001 and not for B012. So, it's not coming. So, the number of packing units is the three now. And then go that one. So, B02101 is the interoc shipment number. That is what you are using. And then go that. Click on plus. Right? So, this comes into picture actually. It goes to uh, yeah, IOT in transit. And this is the IOT in transit. So once when you are moving the material between the source R to destination R, right, we can even charge the what happened the loading cost with the help of a work order actually. 
And then similarly, unloading also can be kept away. So from the shipment point, when it is now going to go to the receiving point, the interrupt shipment number will be written on this. The interrupt shipment number will be written on this. And then in the in the transit, what happens? You'll be incurring the transit expenses, the what freight charges, packing and forwarding, insurance, actors, etc. In EMS, we can enter the freight separately and then enter the non-freight separately. So, but here I am unable to track this expense on my accounting. Actually, you know, see, somebody can help me off. Right? This this is known as a shipping chart, right? But I am unable to track it now. I don't know where to track it. So, this uh, the shipment charges is known as the shipment charges, but I am unable to track it. So, somebody has to help me off. So it's all written on the fine click on plus one. <clears throat> I'm now moving it from B001 to B02. The B02 is an item fine C and then have one. So we already have a stock of 100 now. And then I have now moved 10 quantities. So my costing exercise sheet is all based upon what I was there. Uh, 10 quantities now fine. So that is why I'm now making it make it 10 over here. So 10 is the one I'm not answering. Sub inventory is what? I will now say stores. 001 stores, I have 100 quantities. So, the destination all, there is only one sub inventory. I'm going to put it. So, let me edit the car, shipping charges. Quantity is 10. And then, if you have any reasons, you can also populate the reason. If any, uh, uh, what happens, uh, judge, sorry, whatever it is. So, whichever is okay, fine. You can populate the reason. So, click on any details. And then, I'm going to put the shipping charges. This one, I am unable to, what happens, the track on the accounting at all. I will not put as for 51 now. So, so the odd number I'm putting it. So somebody tell me about where to find out the shipping cost in the accounting. Actually, accounting is not coming at all. Okay. So it's not coming. So go there. So this, I'm now moving 10 quantities from 001 to B012. Now. What I'm doing. So click on my camera. Any doubts on this now? It's all done. Fine. Now going to go move towards this. Fine. My uh, what happens? Uh, my number for shipment is what B02 underscore 101. Fine. Click on submit. It will now start to move. It will now start to move on this place. So the transaction is now going on now, right? So the intra transfers are now going to happen. So keep on it. From 001 to B012, right? the transaction causes is more easy. Now we'll now have a look at the stock actually. Now go to this place, thank you. Now have a look at the stock. So go to the what's called manage item quantities and have a look at the stock. I'm in 001 actually. So 10 quantities would have got come down. So go there. So I'll now go there. It's a B02, right? Just go C and then go tab. So item will be coming. So it is not what B021 now. Right? So it is a destination R. Right? So uh, initially, what happens? I we moved it from what? From uh, we'll now search on the 001 first of all. 001, go that one. Click on search. We moved only from 001 to what happens? This one. Right? Uh, uh, Interop transfer has been made from 001 to B021. Right? So we have got only 90. So this R001 in this place. Even though in the top, it is not B021. Right? Inside, it is not 001. So 10 corners have been moved from 001 to B201. We'll now change it to what? B021 and go there. And then put all the things tick mark and then see. It will be in the inbound. If you can search, it will be on the inbound. If you can search, it will be showing in the inbound. And it is on the inbound. So let us now perform a result on the destination. Order. And then one more thing is what? When you give the transit times, the transit times do not work for the IoT at all. Only for automated uh, your transfer orders. Even for the manual transfer orders, it doesn't work. Only for the automated transfer orders, the transit times will come into picture. For a manual moment, you only have to say when it is going to be received on the destination. Order. So, intra transfers are basically manual. Let us now go there. So, I am already in this R now. Right? So, let us now go there. We will now go to the receipt now. So, we will now change it to receipts now. Click on receipts and then go there. Receive expected shipment is the one. I am now going to receive it actually. Let us now receive it. Receive expected shipment. So, go there. It is what? B02. And then if you give it app, the number will be coming automatically. Go there. So the number is coming. So I'm going to receive it in this place. Thank you for such not show. 10 quantities are ready for receiving actually. So let us now perform a receipt in the gate. So the gate. So once when you perform a receipt in the gate, what happens? The, G, the GRN number gets created actually. The GRN number will be getting created in the gate. So then afterwards, what happens? You're going to deliver the order. Fine. It'll be a put away. So this receiving transaction, receiving section activity is a put away actually. Fine. They'll now go and then deliver. So deliver activity is basically a deliver transaction. Now here it is known as a put away actually. So the order is fine. Coming so click on the show quantity, it will not show 10 is not coming up with a, at a cost of 10 actually. No coming. So, <coughs> so go there. So when you're receiving it, we cannot put a supplementary at all. We cannot put a supplementary. In the receiving, what happens? We cannot put a supplementary at all. And also, people are not talking to me. <laughs> okay. So once when you click on the show quantity, it does not show the expected results of the gate actually on the B021. 
So 10 is now coming from that. We cannot put a sublimitary fine click on state reserve. So by which whatever the GR number gets created. So the people who are sitting in the gate of the destination arc, he will now look at these information, the reserve date, the variable number, the bill of lading, reasons, everything, blah, blah, blah. Everything is okay, then you will not perform a sublimit on that. Otherwise, he will make some value addition also. The packing slip also will not add available. So value additions will be done by the gate in charge actually. He will not open the consignment at all. Thank you for submitting. He will not open the consignment at all. So submit whatever you want, even open the consignment actually. So he is not opening the consignment actually. So go there. So 2001 GRN is created. We are not going to make a put away of this GRN actually. We are not going to perform a put away. Thank you for submitting. We will not perform a put away. So go there. We will not perform a put away. So go there. So click on a put away. We are not going to perform a put away. So put away is what for the GRN number of 2001 and then click on search now fine, we are going to put away. So put away, select it and then click on put away. Now the accounting begins. Now you want to see the accounting. Yeah. So everything is okay. Now it, the source organization has recommended to whatever they have put it in the RMS, but the destination man feels that this is already full. So you can even override the source organization's recommendation of sublimentary. But I don't have any sublimentary. I'm not keeping it as such one. So the destination man can very well override the sublimentary recommended by the source org. Thank you for Performing a put away. You can even put a dilute location also. This is optional actually. If you are, if this particular sub inventory is now located in a different place, whatever you can put. So the put away transaction is now created. Thank you. Now let us now push whatever whatever we have received in the game. Right? We are now had to do two things now. Right? We have received something and then we have delivered it also. Right? Both of them have to be pushed into the costing area now. So we'll not go there. First of all, we'll not transfer it. Now. Thank you. We'll not go on there. Wait. So we'll not go to the home icon. We'll not go to the what? The monitor process, and then now first transfer transactions from receiving to hospital. So click on shipping new process, will not transfer transactions from receiving to hospital. <coughs> so go there. It is what transfer <coughs> transactions from receiving to costing. Transfer transactions receiving to hospital. So this will now push whatever we are receiving in the gate. So on the Accounting even, what happens when you're doing it, what happens on the receipt accounting, right? So these are the four mapping sets which you have to set. Then only there are two, uh, what happens, your events now, one is a shipment reference and then one is the intra transfer. These are two events. And then this has got two accounting entries and then this has got two accounting entries. So these mapping sets, if you don't set it up, what happens, it will be giving a problem. So, that, so transfer transaction was very first. And then uh, uh, instance to instance, it varies now, right? So I will now create accounting and then it will not throw an error. That uh, so and so mapping sets are not set, and then afterwards we will not set up whatever is coming as error actually. In fact, what happens? It will all be given by the financial team. Say trade clearing. If a company is now making it for Tata, they will now create a mapping set called Tata Trade Clearing, Tata Interorganization Tables. Like what happens? They will now create their custom mapping sets for the customer launch. So whatever they give, only those things you have to set. But my students say that this becomes a headache for the supply chain team. They will not give only the names and then the account number. We only have to go on and set it up. That is what they are saying. So this is the problem. Huh? So transfer transfer is even because we are not transferring whatever has been. So it will now go into the receipt, into the interface area of receipt account. It will not go into the interface area of receipt. So running. And then next is what? We will not transfer transaction from inventory to costing also. So as far as receiving is concerned, that, there are four activities which will be hitting via the gate actually. I will not go there. I will not do the next one also. No. So transfer transactions from inventory to costing. So there are four transactions which will be via gate actually. That is interlocked in transit is via gate. That is one by one. And then supplier is going to supply. And then that will be via gate. And then whenever we return back to the supplier, that will also be via gate. That is the third activity. And then whenever the customer returns back as an RMA, that will also be via gate. So these are the only four activities which will be hitting via gate actually. So those things, what happens? We have to do the receipt accounting also. In procurement, what happens? I have done a lot on this now. Fine. So I have done even the reconciliation also. <coughs> fine. Receipt accrual reconciliation, I have done. <coughs> I used to demonstrate that also in the procurement actually. That's a big process. And then my students insist upon that to a great extent. I learned it and then I taught it actually. <laughs> accrual reconciliation. So transfer transaction with inventory costing also working. These concurrence, I don't know why it's taking a longer time. Oh God. So transfer transaction with inventory costing. No, no, at this point I have a question. So this 
program is running across all inventory or right? of course yeah you will be scheduling it fine you won't be running it like this right? you will be scheduling it to run every 10 minutes or 15 minutes so they will all be running automatically In reality will be scheduled you won't run like this only for the training we are running all the programs on the costing area everything will be scheduled that so no so they are limited by like a bu or like a hierarchy or they are running oh, no, it across, not the across all bu uh, when you transfer it from uh, inventory costing it is not asking for the cost target fine so uh, if you are having multiple cost targets we have to schedule it for all the cost targets if it is only a single cost target you can put it and then wait no fine i think there is a mandatory parameter here and this place is a mandatory parameter so we have to whereas when you perform the distribution creation there are no uh, parameters at all that is becoming automatically over and that too what happens uh, only one of them is asking for a parameter actually fine receiving the costing i don't know whether it is asking for a parameter or not sure about it one of them doesn't ask so if it is asking for a parameter you have to if you have multiple things you have to run it so we can now see every transaction is now perfect now we are going to begin receipt accounting fine. we are going to begin receipt accounting we are going to begin receipt accounting. so i'll now go to the home account uh, the receipt account is not done thank you fine now go to the place i will now go to the place i will now go on the create for when we go to the what's called supply chain execution and then go to the receipt account so let me go to the receipt account so the system the data has now come into the receipt accounting as well as the cost accounting interface table so go that now let me create receipt accounting distribution so here also what I want to go there in the last 7 days is now saying fine what the account is now going on how i'm going to change it what us fine op you see so many some us operations actually ah uh, what is this my business unit is what a ah, us one business unit. business unit is us one business unit it is not asking for the cost target actually and that one and remember receipt accounting do not have any periods at all only cost accounting will be having a period receipt accounting will not be having any periods so receipt accounting is bu specific or as cost accounting is cost stock specific so i am not putting a bu and then we will not see whether any cost of fine we will not see whether any cost of and us bu and there is no cost of receipt part. so once when i run it it will not show this no fine it will not show it will not go that one you will now create a receipt accounting distribution so once when you create in the info let itself it will not show you 100 dollars worth of metal has been received you click on the receipt accounting distribution so here is a no show so here is a having parameter number that one so go that i will is so be us one fine business unit so receipt accounting is bu specific remember remove the fine go that one and then click the uh, keep the defaults as such and then click on submit so we are now going to bring in the interface table data on the receipt accounting in the base table Go that one. Now monitor it. <clears throat> Where is the monitor process? Now monitor it. Okay. Go to the monitor process. Go to the monitor process. Uh -huh. So once when it is completed, what happens? You can now see it will be running. Well. Fine. Create receipt accounting distribution. So it is now importing the data from the interface table of the receipt area into the what happens? The base table. Okay. Now run it. import transactions in the interface area of the receipt account so receipt is made on the b012 or we are not made the receipt in the b012 or so if you go to this main portal so when i refresh it it has to be 100 dollars so 10 items have been received and click on refresh now you know see 100 dollars worth of items have been received so it has to be in the last 7 days still the current current is running on so there is not completed so one day when it completes when after the import transactions it will now run one more sub process i think it will now run one more sub process the parent has got passed and then it has not triggered a child actually so the child is running i think it will now trigger one more sub process for importing it actually import transaction the integration of the receipt account so it will be running now it will so that has succeeded the parent has passed and yeah it is now creating a sub process so create distributions are now only getting created actually and distributions are now only getting created so distributions so first import and then afterwards is now creating a distribution on the receipt area so once when you go it what happens you will now find two entries one is the shipment reference and then one is the intron interface transfer right okay? it may be different i am not sure about it in vision we will not see what are the names basically fine okay? so this i worked in oracle instance and then i took it now fine okay? now what happens i know working on a vision and something else you will not see whether there is any change in the names or not so it's no fine so distributions are now getting created actually so once when it is completed this will be getting succeeded and then it will also run no start run so we wait for this to complete okay now so let me go to the 
can now wait for it. So it is now completed. The parent will also, all the three are completed. We will not go to this place, now find the place. I will not refresh it. It has to come as what? The last seven days cost of visits has to be 100. Now I keep on refresh now. It's not coming on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God, nothing is available. So there is some problem here now. Fine. It has not got accounted at all. If you go to the exceptions, fine, click on the exceptions. Fine. There is some exception actually. So there is an exception actually. There is an exception. This is happening on this point. Trade events is not having an exception actually. So we have so much of a trade event exception actually. Now click on the trade event exception. Fine. We'll not see whether it is ours or not. Fine. The exception. UK purchase order it is not ours. No fine. Trade events. Fine. Click on it is not ours actually. In the vision, there is so, so much of a problem will be there. No? It's very, very difficult to understand it. So do that you want. Your space, trade events. 34 trade events are there now. So how to query on this? What is the query mode? No? Uh, it is a transfer order. Fine, it's not a transfer order actually. Fine. We can query on the item. Let's see. We query on the item. It's a B02. Uh, enter in a fine and try to query on the item. You must see whether any trade events is not coming. So, in this place, we'll not go there. Trade events 24. Click on it. Select it and see that. Ah, not coming from the So, something else will be going on. Touches all the time. One of the trade events is actually shown here. I think it's not a game company. So, click on it. So click on the 24 now. There's not shown anything there. Ha, ah, nothing is now shown over there. It's the biggest problem with what happens the vision actually. So what I did is what when I made the cost accounting, then afterwards I was able to do the receipt account. So do that. Let us now go on and do the cost. Let us go on and have a look at the review also. The cost that is not showing here now. Now go to the review receipt accounting distributions and have a look at it. So go that item starts with what? It's a B02. B02. And then click on search now. Fine. So click on search. It's not showing me anything at all. No, so it comes, this will be great actually. Fine. Fine. So let us now perform the receipt accounting and then afterwards we'll come back. Uh, cost accounting and then afterwards come back to the receipt account. So some uh, it clearly showed me that some trade clearing account has not been set at all properly on the B02 R. That is how I got it. No, fine. I got error. When I was doing an Oracle, there are no other data, and so it was clearly showing me that. The trade clearing account is not set at all. Click on the bottom. I don't know, click on the hyperlink. There's no hyperlink at all. It was clearly telling me that some trade events have not happened on the cost accounting area. And something as well. So that is why I wanted a cost accountant to come on and help us of this now. I'm not having any. So click on this. Let us now go on then do the go to the corner. Let us now create what happens a receipt account. Another cost account. So click on it. We will now create the distributions for the cost accounting and we'll see what happens. So go there. So create cost accounting distributions. I'm going to wait. And for the run control, I'm going to write another one. So it's what is that US fine. US and then US search no US operations. So none of them basically what happens, right? Especially for transfer case, right? Huh. First you have to run cost accounting, then receipt accounting. Is it so? Yeah, yeah. That is the way it right? works the other way. Yeah? Because it's it's uh -huh. first costing happens, then then only is it a money. Okay. Yes. So because first thing transfer. That, uh, first, first, transfer that first, right? uh, first you have to do the cost accounting and then only visit money. Okay, fine. Correct. So use operation the one point where so click on the schedule first. So click on it. There's not having any parameters and click on something. So go that you want. Now go to the monitor cost and then wait for it. It's a big program. It will take a longer time actually. So create cost accounting distribution. So. So whatever has been delivered has to be first of all accounted and then, then only whatever has been received can be accounted. That's what Vijay is saying. Yeah. Learn, learn. The learning process. So you know running up. So it will take some time actually. Right? This cost accounting distributions will be taking a long time. No coming up. So we'll now do the cost accounting. So here, uh, this there are five mapping sets has to be set actually. The five mapping sets has to be set. Uh, this has been recommended by one of the students and then I have now done it. So I will not go as per this. If it is going, it's okay. Otherwise, what happens? I will not do it for both actually. So here he's saying trade clearing for the destination and the intro receivables for the source. Fine, like that he told me. So if it doesn't happen, I will not do it for both the options. 
we'll now see as per the recommendation of it's working or not. Working. So, so, great cost of funding is not running. Anybody has got any doubts can ask me. Great cost of going and so here I don't know if running. The submit financial orchestration events is not running in a read actually. It is not what happens, it does not trigger the sub process actually. We get one more sub process also. So, great cost of funding distribution is not in a warning. It does not end up in a warning. It doesn't matter. So, you'll not go to the cost of distribution. You'll not give a safe and close, then you'll not review it. So, you'll not click on it. Now, go on that review. So, go to the review cost of funding distributions for our item. Actually, the item starts with the B0. The B0. And then click on search. So we're not going to search. So I don't want to search it. We just do it. So we already have what yeah miscellaneous result is also that there is one accounting event. Apart from that, you'll be having four more events which will be there. Four more accounting events will be happening. Four more accounting events as well. And item starts with B0. So four more accounting events will be happening on the cost distribution. So the miscellaneous result is the one kind of leave it now. If you go further now, kind of further, you can also see the B0201. These are the four accounting events. So if you go there and then see now, if you go there and see this one. So here. One in transit shipment, and then trade in transit issue, trade in transit, and then in transit result. So, you know, see this. So, here if you go there, so it is the in transit result, and then in transit shipment, and then trade in in transit result, and then in transit issue. So, here each and every accounting entry, if I if you go and then see this, so if you go that, you know, will not go the cost distributions. If you go on and see, you'll be having cost distributions. Here. So, go there. You know, out of my inventory valuation resilient is what I have written it. So, some by inventory valuation resilient is what in transit result. In transit result is what inventory valuation resilient is. So, I am in what I am in in transit result. And in transit result, what happens is we have this entry. Inventory valuation resilient. So, I have already done it. Fine for that. For every event, these are the two accounts which are hit actually. And now, let me do the create accounting and then it will not throw an error because the values are not set actually. Right? Let us not do the create accounting. So for all the four, what happens? It will not. You will be able to see this. Okay? The cost distribution is already written over there. Okay? So as per the drop results, trade and transit. Okay? All these things have been written only for the system actually. So all of them. So let us not do the credit accounting. And then here, what happens? If you go on and see, it is not fully costed, but nothing is accounted. Actually. So we will not do that. In reality, you will not account it. Remember, accounting will be done only with the financial team. But uh, now setting up for setting up or learning it, what happens? You are doing it. Actually, you will not set up and then leave it. They will not only do it. Click on it. will not go there. Click on credit account. So click on create accounting. I'm not going to create accounting for this. <clears throat> Cost management. Ledger is what? What is our ledger name? I know that point. You know, go on and have a look at our ledger name. So the ledger name is what? US primary ledger. So it's a US primary ledger. Then we will have the no process for everything. I find that point. I don't go that point. I will not make it the details. I know that point. I'm not process. Now maybe nothing may be posted actually. It will not be posting anything because I have a feeling that all the things are having a different different name now right? in the vision actually. All of them will be having a different different mapping set name. And that. So we will not click on submit now. Right? So if the mapping set names are same and then if it is also set, it will be given not giving any problem. But I think all of them will be having error. So you know have accounting status is what it will not end up in error actually. So go that one want to process and have a look at it. So we are going to see the accounting status coming into error actually. Create accounting into view. But again, to understand this now, fine. What is this entry? Is fine. We have to have a cost accountant to explain this for you. Why it's happening so fine? How oh, I, I couldn't understand this now, fine. Even I asked my students who helped me out on this. Oh God. 
I have to what happens the consult the cost account and then what happens you have to go through the documentation and all the accounting entries has to be understood also. That is that is the real one. So credit accounting. In my opinion, my import journal child is running. That means what? Maybe I think the inventory valuation to receiving inspection or something like that has passed out of all the eight entries. What happens? That is why what happens is now importing the child child also. Importing child is also running now. It's not complete at all. So credit accounting is running. So once when the credit accounting execution report starts, then we can understand. So post journal is also going up. Something is okay. Something is okay. Let me hope that nothing is okay because we can manually set it. If everything is okay, then there is nothing to set at all. <laughs> there is a problem in vision now. Credit accounting is running. So credit account execution report is now going to run now. So it's now still you know credit accounting is already in the, in the morning. So we'll now go to the review cost accounting. I'll now make a search on the search it. I want what I was everything in error now. Fine. Come on, come on. I want error now. Fine. Click on search now. Murga, Murga, give me error. So click on now. Fine. Right? I want error on all the four actually. <clears throat> I'm praying God that give me error now. So that whatever I can manually set up everything now. Then I'm searching for it now. So in the meantime, whatever you know, go there, right click and then duplicate. We have to go and then set up these mapping sets up. So click on it. Now go there. Put the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> setup and maintenance. I'm going over there. And then I go there. I will not drop down and then bring it to the manufacturing and supply chain management. I will not go there. Put the manage mapping set. Manage percentage. Map percentage. Set percentage. I will not choose cost management. Cost accounting. Afterwards, I will not go to the receipt accounting. So I will not go to the cost accounting first of all. And then here. I will not, the scope is already set and then so I will not click on the task name directly. I click on the task name. Go to this place and review cost accounting. Only two of them are error. Fine. This has got finally accounted now. <laughs> oh God. Okay, these two have got finally accounted, but these two are the error. So let us know. I will tell you about how to what I want to set up an error now. Fine. We will not go to set up the error. Fine. So this is an error actually. I will not go to the journal entries of this error. I will not go to the journal entries of the error. But again, this has to be learned from finances. So here, what happens is not giving error. I expand it and I don't show you which mapping set is giving error. Inventory valuation is not properly set. That is what they're saying. Inventory valuation is not set. So let us now go there, take off of it, and then we'll not set up also. Go to the manage mapping set. We'll now expand the inventory valuation account. I have no query for that. Inventory valuation is not correct. I have no click on the hyperlink of it. Inventory valuation has to be set for both the source and destination all. And go there. So in the US chart of accounts is the one. Right? You go on and see ours is what US chart of accounts. The CY is US chart of accounts. Right? Select it on the left hand side. And then my org is not there at all. Right? So I will not select this account. Right? I will not take copy of the account. I will not take copy of the account. I will not add it for my org. I will not click on plus no Let me add it for my org. <laughs> so it's what? The B 021. Remember, it is case sensitive. If you put a small b, it will not work at all. No, this case is different. And then here, whenever you have a list of values, you have to drop it down and then choose a star. You should not put a star automatically. Right? List of values, you have to drop it down and then choose star. So then I'll put a star. No, I've got an account. No, Paste it. No, I will not add it for the other org also. No, so 001 is already there. No, I don't need it. 001 is already valuation there. Only for my org is added. No, so both the orgs are added. Thank you. Save and close. Inventory valuation error is now corrected actually. You are not corrected inventory valuation error. So, go there. So, go there. so, the first one, what happens? The in transit visit, what happens? We have an inventory valuation. And then we'll now go to the second level, fine. Click on the receiving inspection. Now go there. So, this is one. He's now saying receiving inspection is having error. Receiving inspection is having error. So, inventory valuation for our org is corrected. So, go there. Receiving inspection, we'll go there. Now go to this place. Now go to the manual mapping set. And then we'll now go to the receiving inspection. Receiving inspection of cost accounting. It is of the cost accounting and not the receipt accounting. It is a cost accounting. Receiving inspector the cost accounting. Make the account. Receiving inspector the cost accounting. No go there. So choose the US chart of accounts. Add, add. One, zero, zero, 001 is already there. And click on plus number. Let me add my answer. So go there. It's a B021. And then give it a half. No, it's a star. You drop down and then choose the star. No, click on it. Drop down and then choose the star. So go there. Click on it. Star. Go there. Click on it. Then I will now take this account. No, the different account can take over it. I will now it. And I keep a cursor on this place and then paste it. This account I forgot. So we're not taking a copy of it. So click on it. I'll take a copy of it. So take a copy of it and then click on it. I'm not paste it. Yeah. 
So I know that. So receiving inspection for both the orgs are now done. So click on seven please. This error is not completed. So for the first one, on this one, fine. the first error of in-transit receipt, fine. So it is now giving you errors on what? Inventory valuation receiving inspection, right? So it may be this now. Fine. So inventory valuation receiving inspection, in-transit receipt is now, both of them are now set properly. I'll now go on them, do the other one. I'll now go to the what? This is the error. So trade in-transit receipt, no, fine. Fine. trade in-transit is the one. Trade in terms of not doing everything. Select it. And then yeah, we'll now go to the journal entries direct now. Journal entries number. So we'll now expand it. Expand the means. Okay. So in trade in transit valuation is not set properly. We'll now go there. Click on it. We'll now take over it. We'll now go there. Click on it. We'll manage the mapping set. And then query for the query for the mapping set. So paste it over here. Click on search. Trade in transit valuation. We want to click on it. We'll now add it. Add our org now, right? So go to the US startup accounts. So 001 is already there. Fine. Click on plus now. Fine. I'm not adding it to the US. It's a B021. And I have my own doubt whether we have to give it only for the source org or destination org. Because here in the vision, everything is given. Only thing is what 001 is given for everything actually. So that portion is also not clear. I have to learn a lot also. Once when I learn it, I will not teach you all those things also. Now I'm not doing just like that. No, fine. This is not correct at all. You know, correctly. Because to what happens? Uh, take care of the error. I'm doing it now. So go that way. So this is now the trade in transit valuation is now done. Thank you. Seven close now. Not done. Not. So go there. Now if you go and then see on this place now, fine. So these are the uh, this is the one. And then here got one more error also. Right? Expand it. And then there's a trade clearing error. Fine. Trade clearing. So we'll now go and then take a copy of the mapping set. Oh, mapping set. Fine. Not. We'll not take a copy of it. And then we'll now go to this place and then query for the trade clearing. Trade clearing was on. So paste it over here. And again, whether it's going to be source or destination, I am still not very clear upon this. So I will now click on plus one and go that. And go to this place. Man. B021 and go that tomorrow. In the, in the field, you will not have any vision at all. There will not be any entry at all, remember. You will be having a blank one in this place. And one of my students told me with a vague one, fine. I have now given this number. He has given me with a vague one. Fine. This is for the destination. This is for this one. This is what I he himself is not very clear upon. This so, but here we are now giving it for everything. Again, what happens? This has to be studied, and then it, there may be some mistakes. If there are mistakes, please correct me. So that what happens? I'm now also correct this sheet actually. So in a vision, he cannot understand because we are now giving it for everything actually. Because zero zero one is already there for every hour. Only thing is other hour we are adding it now, fine. Whether that is correct or not, fine. Whether we have to give only for this or for the source also we have to give it that is not known to me. So go that to another. No, go to another. Go to another. So where is my other? Go to another. I'm not pasted to another. Okay, another. I'm pasted to another. Ah, God! I'm not taking a copy of that. Take on it. Go to another. I will not take a copy of it. Now take copy it and then keep it on this place. Now no, paste it over here. So done. Now fine. We have seven close now. The trade clearing account is also set actually. So for this entry, what happens? We are now given both the things now. Fine. Trade clearing as well as your in trade in transit valuation as being the one. So these are the only errors which we got actually. Trade in this is the one. This error and then this error. So these two things do not have any error at all. We will not have a look at it, but what exactly is there now? This place. So, this is not having any error at all. Third one is not having any error at all. Come on, now go there. Come on, we will have a look at it. So, expand it. So, it's saying what? It is inter organization receivables now. So, inter organization receivables is required only for 001, maybe. We will not go there and then see now. So, inter organization receivables may be reserved only for the source org, I think. It's what? Inter org. Continuous one, huh? interog receivables, interog receivables, and go there. So it may not be required for destination. That is why what happens? It has got through now. I will not see what is it now. Interog, interog receivables. See, it is only for the source. That is what he is seeing now. He told me interog receivables is required only for the source and not destination. So that is why it has got through. Good, good, good. Fine. This, that means what this statement is correct actually. This statement is correct here. Interog receivable for the source is only there required. Fine, not for the destination. It's not required. So this is okay. Actually. He told me that trade in transit to be set for both or and then receiving inspection and destination and then inventory valuation. These two to be for both 
and then receiving inspection uh, this is this showed the error actually fine we give it for the destination actually trade clearing also it showed throw the error now fine also fine and intro receivables only for the source or it looks like it is very correct actually so it is on source or fine for the cancel now fine cancel <clears throat> that statement may be correct actually he is actually accounting gave only but with a what happens with a vague one he gave me now So now go to this place and then have a look at it. Just on this. So go there. So it is the inter-organization receivables, and then at the bottom we'll now go and see now. And this place we'll now see what exactly is now. So we'll now go there. So what is the trade intrinsic valuation? Right, is already done now. So trade intrinsic valuation. If you go on and see, and go there tomorrow. So trade intrinsic valuation. Ah, uh, it has been set for both the arcs. We have set it actually, but uh, without doing it also, it has done. That means what? It is only for the source arc actually. Got it now, right? So. Trade in transit, but here it throwed an error. Now fine, <laughs> I couldn't understand this now. It throwed an error actually in this place. But here it is now saying what trade in transit valuation. Uh, it is required for both the arcs. So, but but this is not throwing an error at all. Fine, I am not really confused on this now. Fine, I have to again talk to a consultant and do it. So this doesn't give any error at all. <laughs> We got it. I want trade in transit valuation. I didn't give an error because we were before running it. We were having it only for the source account, not for the distribution. Okay, so let us now run the credit accounting again. So we have to understand this also. It's very very important. What are the one? Which is first? Which is second? How how they are getting knocked off? All these things has to be understood actually. All the four accounting events has to be understood. So if I get any document, please forward it to me. I will now forward all the students actually. So let us go there and then click on it. Or I can now go to the create and go to the create accounting. Click on create accounting. I will now go. So go there. It is a US primary ledger. Primary ledger. Primary ledger. I don't know. Oh, recording still breaking. I can go there. And then click on submit. And I am unable to see the shipping charges of fifty one being accounted anywhere. I am unable to understand this. The shipping charges is not coming anywhere at all. I don't know which will not reflect the shipping charges of fifty one dollars. So that is also another big problem. Now, after doing the cost accounting, then we will be able to do the receipt accounting. Credit accounting is not running. We can even see the execution report also. That will also give you a lot of idea at this point. But now they say that the SCM team has to set up all these mapping sets. All these mapping sets, it is the responsibility. That is what my student told me, sir. Only we are setting it up. The finance is not even coming near this way at all. You set up and then give it to us, and then we will now do the what happens? Do the credit accounting. That is what they said. So they have to only set up. So they called to the customers, and then they had a discussion. Finance team was not even coming for that activity at all. That is what they said. Okay. <clears throat> so remember, your work is going to be huge in the field now. Uh, no, a uh, quick question. So okay. the shipping charges that you mentioned, right? Mm. Uh, you are not seeing that in this latest version or the previous version. I don't know. Fine. See, I am not trying to see this accounting only some few days before only. <laughs> the fifty-one dollars I am not seeing on the report also. Fine. The report also I am not able to see. Now I'll now go there. Click on review now. Fine. Click on search again now. Fine. Click on search again. Now all the errors will be getting what happens? So nullified actually. So previously we are having two errors actually. So now all of them will be final account actually. But I have seen the report also in the month process. What happens if you go and see the report also? I couldn't find an entry for the shipping charge at all. So somebody has run some other kind of thing. So not so many things are running. Some planning team is now running this now. <laughs> it becomes very difficult even identify where exactly it is now. Right? So I'm not there. I was like, take a take a copy of this index entry. And you can say import journals child is now running. And the the report is it to run. Journals child is now running. So credit accounting has already been the one. So we review the cost now. So now it's all final account. But again, we have to learn a lot on this. And then I have gone to the month process and then here. I what happens? Open the output of this one. I open the output. I couldn't find the fifty-one entry at all. It may be somewhere. Nobody was able to give answer. 
Now let us go there. So it is not fully accounted. Right? In reality, you will not account it all. You only set up the mapping sets. Right? All the mapping sets, whatever is there given by the main line, it may not be, it may be custom mapping sets. It may be custom mapping sets. So let us now go to the receiving, receipt accounting and then do it. Right? Now go to the receipt accounting. So the cost accounting activity is complete. Right? So let us go to the receipt accounting area. I have not added them. So let us now go to the home account. Now this time, receipt accounting will not succeed. What is this? What is this? And then I have now go to the receipt accounting. So what is this cost accounting is there and then we will now go to the receipt account. This time we will now create a distribution from now here. So I have to have $100 in this place now. So click on it. It does not do that. Create receipt accounting distribution. It clearly told me exception that trade clearing is not set actually. So that is why uh, as Tijil was saying, first you have to do cost accounting, then only what happens you have to do the receipt accounting. Click on it. So go there. So click on the create this receipt accounting distribution. So create this one. So go there. Business unit is what? US one. And click on server. We are now creating the receipt accounting distribution stock. This time it has to succeed. It has to show me on the main area itself that what happens that this is not done. You go to the monitor process and then how it So it's not running. The import is also running on time. So once we do that. Then what happens? A sub process will run on this area. A sub process for creating a distribution structure. So it is now bringing in from the interface table to the base table sector, importing, and then afterwards a sub process for creating the distributions of the receipt accounting will be running. And then here, whatever mapping set it is now saying that has to be addressed with you. If there is error. So in this area, we we'll know how what on the receipt area find what that. So there will be four mapping sets which will be having a problem. Only two entries are there. Two events are there. Here there are four events actually. And we have four events. Here on the receipt accounting, only two events. So click on it. So it will be what I want to spawning one more sub process for what you are this thing. The sub process for creating the distributions actually. After the import is completed, once accepted. Now the sub process is running actually. So once when the sub process gets completed, you can now see the what's called the receipt accounting distributions. Now. Receipt accounting is not having any periods, whereas cost accounting is having a period. Actually. The sub process is running. So you now go there, click on it. If you go and then refresh it, so I won't close this one. The overview area. So let me choose my cost of. So the cost of receipts has to be hundred actually. Click on it. I'm not choose what. Is that US operations? So business unit. Sorry, business unit is what US one. US one business unit. Only cost target is your. If I click on apply now, then you have to see the cost of receipts is hundred dollars. The last seven days it has come as hundred dollars. Bandichi, we got it. Right. The cost of the receipt was $100. So click on it. We'll now go to the review receipt accounting distribution. So item starts with what? B02. B02. Now click on search. And search for it. Uh, so there will be only two trading events now. Fine. One is what? Uh, shipment reference is the what happens one now. And then in transit, inter uh, what happens? Uh, Interorganization transfers. So, like this, what happens? Shipment reference and then intra transfers. And then if you go there, and then here, uh, it is now say distributions of process. Now, right? So, distributions of process. And then here, when I do it, it has to come as a transaction is what final account actually. So, let now go there and then click on it. So, click on it. so you'll be finding these accounting entries also. Right? So what are the distributions you can now see for the intra transfers? You can now see the trade in transit valuation and the receiving inspection. So training in transit validation, the visiting inspection market, and then this also will be having these entries. So we go there and see this place distribution will be showing you this. So we go to the distribution, improv payables, and then trade clearing. So improv payables and trade clearing are there. Now what happens your accounting entries actually? So let us now go there and then it will now throw an error for both actually. And go to the create accounting because none of this has been properly set actually, because it has been set for the destination actually. So all these things must be set for the destination actually. All these things must be said, but destination we are not touched it at all. Not touched it. So it has to throw an error. So I'm going to go there, drop it down. I will now say receipt accounting. 
subletter accounting is the same. The ledger is what? US primary ledger. US primary ledger is not going to be accounted. Summary is not detailed on final account. I'm going to write a post. So for the receipt accounting, I'm now creating the credit accounting. So let alone go to the monitor process line that one. So go that created. Okay, sub process is now in time. Journal entries. I do not want to have any import journals at all. My import journal should not happen at all because it's all. Uh, wrong actually. Nothing has been set on the destination actually. So import journals will not happen. So great accounting is running now. Like import journal is not running here. So import journal is not running. Import journal is not running. So it's running, running, running. <clears throat> so no import journal is actually running. So if you go to the create accounting area, find that now close this now. So receipt accounting distribution if you go on and click on search now find it has to end up the transaction status has to be an error actually. This transaction status so it's all error. Good is error. So let us now correct these errors of the we select it and then we errors. Now go to the journal entries of the first one now right? inter of transfer is the first one and we'll go there. So we'll now go to this place expand it in transit is a so here the receiving inspection underscore RA has to be set. It is now asking for some other thing. Fine. Whichever it is asking for, you have to set up. So input source value does not map to a one by receiving instruction RA. So we will now go to the management set. So it will now come out of the cost management. Thank you. Now go to the receipt accounting. So go that to the say it will now reduce it. Personalization and management set. will again go there. Now this time I will now choose the management mapping set for receipt accounting. I am not choosing the management mapping set for this one. I will now go that now. I have no query for this one. I'm not choosing this one. So it's not that. And click on the management mapping set. We'll not go inside now. There is no scope at all here. In the receipt accounting, there is no scope at all. So for that, so no paste it. Thank you. That. Receiving inspection RA. That is what I'm saying. So this one here is not the receiving inspection, but the receiving inspection RA it was showing. Now go that one. So this is required for the destination R. It is required for the destination. Because the receipt has happened on the destination. So we'll not give a plus one. Click on plus one. And then we'll take a copy of it first of all. You take a copy of it and then we'll now give a plus one. Click on plus one. And we're putting a plus one. So that. The B021 and go that. The start here. And no, I should not put a start like this. It doesn't come properly. Drop it down and choose it. Whenever you have a list of value icon, you drop it down and then choose now. So it is not showing you receiving inspection RA. So there only I have not, not receiving inspection, but receiving inspection RA told. So that only I have queried and then give a save and close. That is not that. So the next one is what? We'll now go there. No, no, so, you, yeah, did, you did a mistake. What is that? The accounting you set it for UK operating unit. <laughs> ah. See, it's a US one, US chart of accounts. Okay, I did it for UK. God. <laughs> no, UK, nothing is there actually. In the US only, there are the US chart of accounts. We'll now go there. We'll see whether I will now go and query my B021. B021, I'll enter it now. I'll see. I have entered it. Okay. It's now run correctly. So for the US chart of accounts, fine over there. So US chart of accounts is all done. It is now correct. It's okay. So no problem. So give a cancel. So that is now not fine over. So we'll now go on and see on this one now. And what is place? So the first entry is now showing you this now. The second entry you will now go on and see what is the mapping set which needs it now. So this also it is now asking for a what? Uh, trade in transit underscore RA. What is this RA? I don't understand this now. In the previous day, what happens? It's not coming with the RA actually. Ah, whatever it asks for, we have to give it now. No coming in with the RA actually. So without for, RA, we'll not see whether there are no two entries. For, uh, for costing, it will everything will go into CST transaction uh, tables. Okay. And uh, for okay. receiving, it will go into RA tables. RA transaction. Oh, oh, oh. the table name. Huh? Yeah. Oh, RA is a table name. Okay, so that is why everywhere the RA is coming. Okay, okay. okay. So it will now go into the RA table. So it's also And then now click on what will now take this account now. So go there. It will now take COVID account. So he's saying RA is a table name for receipt accounting. And good, good study. So go there. B021 is the one thing over So I will now drop down and then put the star over here on my star. And then here also star. 
So this is not done. Fine. Trade. If I make a mistake, please point it to me. Then and there, not fine. Do that. Come on. I'm going to give a seven plus. Seven plus. So on the first entry, what happens? That we are now sorted out both. No fine. Receiving inspection RE and then trade in transit valuation RE. We'll now go to the second line. Thank you for the second line. We'll now go to the next one. We'll now go to the space. We'll now expand it and then see. <coughs> so trade clearing. This is a trade clearing. <coughs> <coughs> we go there. <coughs> uh, trade in transit valuation RA is now set. Afterwards, what happens? We are now set intra organization pay? No, no. Now trade clearing. No, no. I think receiving is. So these two things we are set. Fine. Now we have to set up these two things. Trade clearing RA. No, no. So trade clearing RA. Fine. No, that's my. We have to set up these two. Go so trade clearing RA. You know, see, without RA, anything is coming up. Fine. Oh, it's also there, but you had to use only this. So by mistake, if you do it, it will not work at all. Remember, in the field, the financial team will now tell you which mapping set you have to make entry now. And accordingly, you have to do it. That. So let me go on and select it. And the third one, I'm selecting it. So let me take a copy paste. So click on plus, and then I'll not put it on the screen. The B021, and go there. And then drop down and choose that. What about star now? It's a star here. And then paste it over here. So that's it. So go with that save and close by which it is not done. Save and close. No, no, no. So go to that. The review visit this. So we want to go down. And then we we'll are now expand this. Expand this. And then here again, inter organizations payable are here. So even without RA also, the data is available. So, that is not true. so it says something means what? It is all set by the finance team actually. So you had to use only those. Interoperation pay, which is the last one on the mapping set. We are setting it up. Now go to the space from there. So I'm going to take copy of it. Go down. And then I take copy of it. These accounts will be given later. Up down and then choose this now. And then go to the star. Star. And then paste it on this one. Done, done, done. And then that one's even close now. <clears throat> even though I'm going at a very high speed, <laughs> it has almost taken two hours now. <laughs> what to do? Right? So, so much of a sub subject is so big actually. So, we are not done everything. On the second also, everything is done. So, let us now go there. We will now run that. What happens is the create account. So, this time, you should not give an error account. So go there. So go down and then see this. And create accounting is Click on create accounting. I will not do it for receipt accounting. Drop it down. Now the receipt accounting. It's a US primary letter. And then this is the detail now. So yes and fine. What you want This time import journals has to run. Previously, import journals didn't run at all. And this time it has to because we have now rectified the problem. So create accounting never ran the import journals at all. This time it has to run. Import journals and post journals as well. Create accounting. Now we're going to say, come, 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 import journals, please come. <clears throat> yes, import journal child is now running. So this create accounting is now running the import journal show. So once it is run, then what happens? It will be posting it also. Post journal with post journals. So importing and posting is now happening. So you'll now go there, click on it, you'll now go and then search for it. You'll now say it is final account it has to be. So you'll now saying final. It is not showing you costed because the receipt accounting is not costed. Receipt accounting is only account. So there is no problem at all. 
but here in this place, you will not see on the whatever the record also. So if you go on and see this, no fine. It is like what operation success patient died because we are unable to understand this uh, trading events actually. What exactly is happening? So if somebody can explain this, here, is, okay, here only there are four uh, accounting entries are there. Here there are plenty. There are eight accounting entries that you talk once person when you are more than delivering it actually. You have to understand this, no fine. That is uh, somebody has to say. So otherwise, what happens? You have to blindly follow whatever financials is saying. Those uh, what happens? Those mapping sets only has to be set actually. Here at least is not coming as what R A R A R A, and all of them are coming with R A. Here it's all almost same. Okay? There is no change at all in the cost funding. But in reality, it will all be different actually. Uh, so Nana sir, do you want me to put some light on all these one? Uh, which one, which one? I'll go back to your Excel and then I can. One second. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Yeah. You want to, can you explain this now? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, let me Who is this? Sijil. Yeah. Sijil, okay, fine. You can explain. Sijil <laughs> is going to explain this now. Okay, tell me. Give an explanation. Okay, so basically, when you are transferring anything, right, from okay. your source to des destination, so okay. your first party, you are just moving your inventory. Okay. So, inventory, it's one side, it's depleted another side it's added mm -hmm. so look at first and last entry right okay. inventory value first side which is source which is row number 44 yeah. it is credit what credit you're saying is, yeah is the right. one it is credited that means so what inventory of, has come down right? come down correct on the other side which is receiving in transit receipt which is always inventory valuation what, what is the row number tell me row number is 52 52 you're saying right so inventory valuation here it is credited and then here it is credited and then here is debited. It's debited. So, so this is for the source org and then this is for the destination org. Destination. Correct. Okay. okay. So Please simple term is right because debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Mm -hmm. So meaning on the first source side it got depleted, hence okay. it's credit. Okay. Other side it got added, okay. hence it's We debit. understood the inventory valuation. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So this is your first part. Second part, let's understand in transit valuation. So whenever right, anything goes out, because the so moment we this get, means what it is an in transit shipment, it is going out, and so we are now talking about the point trade in transit valuation. What what is going out? Right. So, so why it has get the debit now? It is not going yeah. to increase. fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming to that. So in transit valuation, initially, right, the moment your shipment is done, mm -hmm. shipment done meaning your inventory again is down mm. but at the same time because you are in transit which may take a day or two days three okay. days or so and so forth right yeah it means you have the value but that is in transit okay so that is your row number 43 so okay. you can see it's a so this means transit. what the in transit value has got increased actually both yes. of, because of the shipment actually okay got it okay so this total is now complete and okay yes next is and same way right in this place, we are now, uh, what happens, we are now receiving, you know, fine, trade in transit value, fine. Tra when you make yeah. a receipt, what happens, this is again hitting on the debit side, actually. Right? So, yeah, I'll come to that. Uh, so, uh, the moment, right, there would be two more entries, which you would have, you the, which you have showed, right, for the receipt, receipt account, uh, right, as well, the top. which we need to add. So, which are here. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now, another part comes into picture. The moment you send it, right? Okay. Meaning you are you are receivable, right? Because you have to receive the fund. Yeah. On the other side, the person who is going to get it, right? He has to pay it. Though okay. it's not because this is just inventory to inventory transfer. Okay. Though there would not be any kind of payment and this one, payment okay. and receiving, but at the same time, system is going to generate those two entries. So if you look at okay. row number 20, which is tables. Which is on the receiving side, meaning receiver is a is receiver is always a, a person who has to pay actually. Yeah. Who has to pay? Clear? Because he got the material, he has to pay. Oh, right? so, so this is the, the total receipt is only on the receiving side, and so the receiver has to pay this much of a money. Exactly. So his it's, his, it's, his it's money can, value will be coming down. Yes. Exactly. So meaning like because he got the material, now he has to pay. Okay. So it in a sense it got tables got credit, and if you look at Row number 46, receivables get debit. Okay. 
receivables. So the payables and the receivables are the contra entry for the payment part of it. Okay, part, part. Okay, got it. It is not in real, but system okay. generate these got entries it. because got if it. you have some kind of intercompany transaction, uh -huh. one person is liable, another person is receiving. Good, good, good. Okay. So on another. the shipment interface, uh, the destination has to pay, and then and the receiving side, what happened? The receivables is now getting credited. Okay, fine. That's yes. that's understood. Uh, Nana sir, can you keep uh, noting? Oh, sorry, can you highlight with color so that we should not come back? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this is now done now. Thank you. Back to point. I will now go to the home icon and I want to say red now. Thank you. Red and here. So this is also, this is also done. So it's red. So red account. Red. Similarly, the yeah, inventory valuation has been done. No? Yes. We talked about yeah. so this is red actually, and then here in the inventory valuation also is not done. So click on it. Good. Okay. This many. Uh, yes. On the other side, let's talk about receiving inspection first. Huh? Okay. Receiving inspection works the same way the the way it is for the P order, right? Okay. Receiving inspection. Is debit debited. on one side and credit on the other side. So you okay. receiving right inspection here. is now debited. And then debit or here is receiving inspection. Where is it now? Fine here. Where is it both uh, of them? Okay, fine. Okay. So these two things are also completed. Fine. So it is now debited on the what happens uh, because it has now increased. Actually, the receiving yes. all is now increases, and then the source all it has now got decreased. Okay, fine. Good. So that is now complete. Good. So okay. In transit, also we talked right in transit row number 43 and row number 43. Trade in intransit valuation told me so. This is also talked about 43 and then uh, and, okay. and immediately, right? What happens? You, roll, you can see row number 47 what because is in transit would happen two to two side. Eh? One is trade for in the source side. Okay. right? One is for the source side uh -huh. and one is for the receiving side because. The ownership, right? Okay. Ownership on the shipment, side. and then this is the issue actually. Mind this is issue because this is happening at the same time. So this and the next entry got knocked off. One second. So trade in transit valuation is not done here. Also, the same trade yeah. in transit valuation. No, no, no. Row number forty-seven. No, not this. Forty-seven. 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 So this is also done. And similarly, right? Trade in transit. It's on the receiving side. So if you look at Trade in transit receipt, which is row number 49, 40. and yes, and row number 24. 24. Trade in central So it is on the intra transfer event. This and this are getting hit actually. Yes, because reason is one is for the source side, one is for the receiving side. Okay, trade in transit. This is still in the transit. This is just the ownership. Right? Okay. So one, and then click on it, and then this also is more complicated. Good, good. Last but <laughs> mm -hmm. last but not the least is your also trade good. events, right? Yes, Meaning, uh, uh, I do not know the right term, but it's a trading. Uh, I think Pranay knows about this one. Uh, so trading is also one of the entry, right? Which actually he can say it. uh -huh. it's basically for intercompany purpose. Let me say oh, this oh, in oh. that way. But it again but it normally hits even if it is not an intercompany. It will yes, be. because reason is that Nana sir Oracle has given the standard. Eh? Ah, so yes. any kind of transfer happens, right? Whether it's intercompany, whether or it's even inter -org, or, oh, or the rate clearing is hit actually. No, oh. it would so the rate clearing or the receiving org is not hitting on the debit side. Yes. For the, for the for the source org, it is not hitting. On the it is always on the receiving. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is one on one side on the receiving side and one other side on the. Oh, great, side. great. But remembering is very very difficult actually. <laughs> No, no, this way you can you can remember Nana, sir, right? Let's clear one by one and then you would get it. All of them are now cleared actually. Yes. And uh, Nana, sir, you also talked about the shipping charges. Eh? Ah, shipping charges. Shipping right. charges, the entry would never come because Oracle has is still working on that part. So uh -huh. the workaround is hmm. you can create rules, which is nothing your overhead rules. Uh -huh. so overhead rules you can create and add your shipping charges there itself. Uh -huh. Very good, very good. So, so all of you please undergo a training by Tijil on costing actually, fine, cost accounting. So he is an expert on cost accounting actually, fine. I recommend through this one, fine. Uh, one minute. Uh, Tijil, can you share your uh, contact details? I uh, know, share it. Can you share your contact details so that what happens? Uh, because this video is going to be published actually. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. let me can you share, share your my... screen. Yeah, share your screen now. 
and then uh, put your contact details and I think so because this guy is an expert on costing actually. He is working already on costing, so he knows a lot on this now. He will not share his screen and then he will not tell you his uh, details so that he can attend the next training actually. Right? This is now going to go in my YouTube actually. So see, he has given a very clear explanation on those accounting events actually. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, so I think Nana sir, out of this one, right? Pranay is already my student. Ah, <laughs> he's there. Okay. And I can see Ashok, he has taken the training for ah, uh, manufacturing. Okay. Afak has training the, okay. got the training for, uh, you know, uh, again for costing. Uh, yeah. Can you at least share your screen? I'm and sharing your name screen, yes. yeah, yeah. And then your uh, contact details. So that what happens, at least people can understand. So these are my contact details, Nana sir. What's up? Okay, fine. What's up on the telegram? So he has given these numbers. Now, fine. All of you, please take a note of it. Now, fine. So, this is so let me put it down here. <coughs> these are my costing details. So, undergo a training with Tijil on the costing front. You will be more clear upon this. <coughs> so since Oracle asked me to do it, now I did it. But again, I don't have this much of a, what I'm saying, that knowledge on the events actually. Fine. Accounting events is I'm not having uh, that much of a. So, uh, Tijil, you will be covering it for, let's say, the sub event transfers, your miscellaneous transactions, your transfer orders, and then your uh, ship confirmation, pick confirmation, etc., etc. Everything you'll be covering in your training. Huh? Everything would be covering, Nana, sir, by your you know, uh, blessings, right? Yes. I would be covering everything. Very good, very good. And uh, I think that is the reason I it, it is it is going to take time, right? Because the inventory is not a small module. Okay, okay. Uh, so I am covering everything which is required for the inventory to okay. be, and which is central part as well, right? That's good. So can you get can you put your email ID also somewhere? My email ID is not there. Uh, email ID is here. Oh, is there? Okay, email ID is there. So email ID is there. Good, good, good. WhatsApp number and email ID is okay. That's okay. WhatsApp number is here. WhatsApp group is here. Telegram group is here. Link Huge is team will be looking at this now, right? This recording. And then so what happens? You have given a very beautiful explanation on the, uh, the accounting event, actually. And that's great, actually. Yeah, thank you. Nana, that is sir. where I was lagging. I couldn't explain that to my students at all in Oracle. <laughs> uh, no problem, Nana, sir. You can always, you know, because I everything is, is, is I mean, I learned everything from you. So okay. any help is needed on any side. So ready to help. That's great. Right. So Anybody has got any doubts on the contact details of Tejal Nohan, you can even go there and then you can even contact him. So he will be frequently conducting these trainings. And so what happens, you can even have Let me write one more email idea. Okay. Uh, Fusion. Dot posting at gmail.com. Okay, cool. And uh, Fusion. Like dot training at gmail.com so fusion dot training and then fusion dot costing are the two email i think it's fusion okay. dot training or i forgot it i just uh, it's uh Wait. the fusion dot costing and the fusion dot fusion, fusion is fusion dot training it's fusion is cm dot training Fusion.costing and then fusion scm dot training. He can also approach you now. And he has got his WhatsApp number also, Telegram group, everything is there now. Right? Yeah. So he can even approach on any other things. On the same WhatsApp number, he's also having a telegram. He can even put it. The yes. thing is good. Hey, you're not put your name anywhere. Fine. Can you put a name here also? <laughs> put your name, you know. Tijil Goyal. And Tijil Goyal is the name of right? name. Yes, ma'am, sir. Anybody has got any doubts to be asked with the Tijil now? It took more than two hours for me to complete now. It's a big session actually. <clears throat> okay then, yeah. So thanks Tijil. Thank you, Nana sir. Thank for you. all the help. Yeah. You can uh, stop sharing it. Yeah. Okay. And anybody else has got any other doubts? Do you like this uh, program? If you write, can you in the reaction screen? Can you put a green tick now? This coverage, if you write, if you like it, can you put a green tick on the reaction screen now? In the bottom, the reactions. Yes, Raja. <clears throat> Thank you, Sri. Sri, did it uh, help you? Any Okay, fine. Good. He has not put a thumbs up actually. But Ashok, are you there? Afak, big, are you there? He might have left, I think, right? because he was taking so much of time actually. 
great than fun we'll now meet on some other topic on some other day in our mind brother so bye for now from nana <coughs> thank you nana sir thank you okay thank you have a wonderful evening take care bye thank you bye thank you nana sir on the first day i i go live